This is for the nerds, this is for the brainiacs, this is what we deserve. Go ahead and play it back, you ain't gonna touch me, you're not gonna do nothing, you are not above me, I bet you wish you was me, I know it, I know it. What is poppin' everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Solve For What Only Friends Podcast. <laughs> It is, it, what, it is a soft for only friends podcast. What the fuck are you guys laughing Don't about? Don't look at me. Yo, I know you're not to sit in my seat, my old seat, and just talk about, you know. Finally, the, the uh, Yinzers are together. The Yinzers just, you know, they just <laughs> laughed at me. With the beautiful about my intro. behind us. You laughed at me about my intro. I thought your intro was fine, man. The intro was fine. You just fumbled a word or two. That's all. Yo. You, you drew attention to it, man. We were just sitting here hanging. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Anyway, we are joined today from all of my friends except for one. I don't know where he is right now, but we got Melissa over there in the kitty corner. The ex-kitty corner, I should say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Melissa, my, Melissa's jacket is, is low-key fire, though. What kind of jacket is that? It's Adidas. Wow. I wanted this for a while, but I was good. I waited till it went on sale. Oh, this, oh, this it's is like a discipline. fire jacket plus a cheap jacket. Mm-hmm. Fire sale, fire sale. We like that. Yes. Everybody likes a fire sale. My mom, told me, my mom told me never buy anything on full price. Yeah, because I I that's what I do. Shut I, the fuck I, up. I looked at all the sneakers you have. That's true. That's you true. definitely bought a couple of those at either full price or slightly. I would be shocked if any of those were on sale. No, when, they were above market. They were, but right, they're marked up. When we were when we were dabbling in NFTs, uh, I had a mutant, and with the mutant came an Adidas drop for <laughs> Yeezys or some shit. <laughs> Fucking worthless. Like we couldn't wait to dump it because it was way overpriced. You know who we dumped it to? Conrad. 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 <laughs> hold, on, hold on, guys. Let me finish that story. So I bought that from them for 0.4 ETH, and I flipped that bitch for 1.6 oh. ETH about a month and a half later. Uh, so who's the uh, winner now? You know what I mean? Uh. I, thought you, I just thought you bought Yeezys. <laughs> no, 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 no. So actually, they never, um, they never tied it together. So I was hoping that... Oh, so they dropped this really expensive thing that was actually useless. Yeah, basically. Sure. It's, I think it is still useless, yep. honestly. That works. Yeah, I mean, that's what happens. Shout hey. out to the buyer out there. <laughs> <laughs> 2K well, well spent. Talking yeah. about shout outs. Shout out to Colombian Cocaine. Subscribing. Uh, welcome oh, to Cocaine. <laughs> welcome. Coming in hot on a Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Colombian Cocaine. Welcome to the dark side. And uh, also, I had a message this morning from Brian who said he subscribed uh, and we didn't give him a shout out. So, this is your shout out, Brian. Good. Thank you for. Oh, he's right we here. We also yeah. got another one <laughs> nice the other day that we didn't shout out. It was uh, New Jersey Mamacita. Oh, New Jersey Mamacita. New Jersey Mamacita. Yeah, I saw it. Man. Why are you cut to me? <laughs> <laughs> because the yep. actual name is Chin's New Jersey Mamacita. <laughs> Chin's New Jersey Mamacita. Okay. Mm. Pretty great. You had to clarify. Great. Yeah. That's crazy. Right. Anyway. So, so as you can already see, we got the Yinzers in the house. Matt Berkey, Brian LaManna. Hi, Matt. Hi, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> always. As always, we got the dark side in the house as well. Always good to be. This isn't a good seat to wear shorts in. <laughs> you know, Dude, I'm, we, I'm we constantly get going about the like shorts this. Every episode, constantly like, going that, like this. That's why the laptop um, yeah. tray is there. It works out perfect. I've been waiting for the the weather to turn so I can like finally start wearing pants because I can't bring myself to just like wear long pants in the summer here. Too hot. Um, <laughs> Ricky's just gonna take the do rag down. off. Wow. Yeah, take the do rag off. Take the do rag off. Yeah. Are you gonna buy some long t-shirts? I have some long t-shirts. Well, I think you might want to get another one because today's episode is brought to you by True Classic. Guys, let's talk about t-shirts. If you ever tried to replace one of your favorite shirts, you know the whole experience is just bad. Most shirts, they are too tight in the midsection. They look way too big and boxy. It's time to go all in on True Classic. I'm not bluffing. This brand has the absolute best fitting t-shirts a man can buy. True Classic has already helped over 2 million men finally get a better fit at, affordable, at an affordable price. We want to hook you up with some True Classic tees. Our listeners get access to the best deal they offer. For a limited time now, you can get 25% off with code ONLYFRIENDS at trueclassic.com. Don't fold on your wardrobe. Say hello to True Classic. Oh. Absolutely. <laughs> I like it. I thought, that, I thought you did that really well. Not mm-hmm. bluffing. You know. He ain't bluffing. I'm not bluffing, man. Really not. They're yeah, I'm, great I'm, I'm really not. You know what's the Are problem? Are you wearing a True Classic right now? No, nah, I wore it yesterday. Oh. We, we, we need to get some like the same shirt I got on. 
No, see, see how yours, your, see how your, uh, your neck yours line looks is way much better. better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yours looks way like, better. Yeah, kind of worn out and everything. That's why there's two classics here. <laughs> <Yeah>. Great. <laughs> Sorry, kid. You got to, you got to roll on this one. <laughs> we the, need a sponsor uh, next week, man. You got to roll on this. You got to tell them how much better his shirt is. Right. Listen, Chin, I'm doing it for. Fuck you. I'm doing it for <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I'm doing it for the bottom, the bottom line of the company, man. I'm taking an extra 10%. <laughs> Shout out to my boy, my homie, one of my besties. The man. The man, the myth, the legend, the one that you will probably never fucking see on this podcast, Corey Paget. Sir Corgasm has won ring number four. Four? Number four. Let's give it up for Corey. Corey. I'm a bit confused. He has a zero as an O. Was someone? Did someone take the Corgasm name? I'm actually not quite sure. Imagine, and imagine. Like that it seems that them. somebody already took that one. That's why you had to put a zero there. That, Corey, could you please confirm or deny? We, yes. we do need a confirmation on this because and, and that would so, be absurd. And if so, where is the first Corgasm? Mm. <laughs> what was he thinking, taking your name? It, well, I mean, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Yeah, your well, name doesn't transfer from. Um, no, from, you created the one in all those. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. He just texted the group. He said they didn't oh, allow they didn't it. they didn't allow it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Because no. they had the word orgasm in it. Oh, wow. Crazy. That's, That's fun. fun. That's wild. Yeah, shout yeah. out to him. He's crushing, man. Yeah, let's go, Corgasm. Keep it up. If you want to learn how to ring up, get a bracelet, you know, just improve a little bit. My man, Lamana, has some information for you. We do. We, we have an academy coming up. On February 2nd to the 5th, led by this man right here, Matthew Berkey, and uh, Chin is going to be... Don't talk to me anymore. Oh, man, it's going to be... <laughs> you said his collar be, was worn out. I know, I know. This is going to be tough, the whole, the whole, uh, whole podcast. Uh, Landon will be there, Matt Hunt, Chris Convalinka. It's going to be a Poker Out Loud style academy where you will uh, we'll have two days of lecture, two days of a, a Poker Out Loud style play where you will be... Think, speaking your thoughts out loud and all the instructors will be giving their commentary on what you're doing right what you're doing wrong we have seven seats left they're starting to go fast so get in there and get it at academy.solfy.io Berkey, can you touch on a little bit like the um how the commentary starts and how it ends between like day one and day two elaborate what are you asking me Meaning, you know, like when people usually come in first, how does your commentary normally sound? Like, give me like a little snip. Like, what, <laughs> what, Put them right what does the commentary, commentary normally commentary sound voice? like on day one? Mine personally? As compared to day two of play. Uh, I, I would like to think that I don't change anything, but day one is very much, um, you don't play the same preflop. You don't play the same preflop. You don't play the same preflop. Stop limping. Uh, day two is a lot more of we talked about this what type of board texture is that <laughs> we don't small bet these boards True. um i i'm probably a lot more critical than everybody else everybody else gives like you know objective feedback and i i give the uh come on we just had to talk about this on lunch <laughs> you like the baseball coach yeah mm -hmm. you know better than this me. that makes sense yeah. this makes sense we do have a um, course that just dropped on the... We do. Fire, uh, good friend, Finding Equilibrium, uh, has just dropped uh, his GTO check blueprint that, um, blueprint part two, that is. Uh, I believe we have a little clip, Guapo. The focus of these videos is to help players build the ability to identify and organize the various factors that impact optimal strategies. The macro analysis, meso analysis, and micro analysis are essentially a systematic way to prioritize and organize the most important heuristics which drive EV maximizing strategies. This is the primary approach of GTO Check. In the next two videos, we will demonstrate how to actually apply this theory in real life practical situations. So if you want to learn, uh, learn a little bit more about how to uh, navigate through uh, the solvers, go to uh, solvefory.io. You can get a two-week free trial and watch uh, that course along with uh, the first version of it and everything else we have to offer. All right, all oh, right. Yeah. So um, I woke up this morning. Wow, congratulations. And the first thing I saw was a fucking ESPN alert. Before we get into that, do, do you guys think we could actually just do an entire podcast of ads? 
Yeah. Oh, no, I'm fucking. <laughs> I think Let's we can pull it off. Let's just keep it rolling. This is no, 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 no. Also, can we, can we, can we, <laughs> can we know, talk about this did magnetism? Did you know if you want a soft white the, t-shirt, you can also Can we talk about this magnetism right here? I don't know. Do you guys think I have feminine Can you please magnetism? read this out loud? I, I will read it out. Oh, God, wait. <laughs> well, no, you, have to, you have to read her name also. Yeah, of course. Yes, yes. please ahead. read. From Tukan. <laughs> Melissa, the feminine magnetism you're emin- emanating is yeah. simply irresistible. Thank you. I don't That's know what the so fuck that means, honestly. <laughs> I'm going to keep it real with you. Uh, I have no idea what the fuck I just said. Um, if anybody wants to fill me in, I'm here. Please help me. You can take the mic at any moment. Anybody know? Feminine man. I just want to know if you're getting hit on by a guy or a girl. I don't know, but either way, I appreciate <laughs> Can't it. Breathe. That shit was funny. All right, go ahead. You, so you woke up, ESPN was on fire. You were getting the da-da-da, da-da-da, alert. Da-da-da. <laughs> but you know, when it comes to my phone, it plays the fiddle. Do, 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 no. do. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Stop. We need to die with the fiddle. The fiddle needs to die. All right. Why did you why did you turn away from all of us to play the fiddle? <laughs> because he ain't trying to He's look at you like this, bro. He ain't trying to look at you like this. That's really why. You don't want a man looking at you like that. Like you don't do that shit. I got you, dog. Don't worry. But go ahead, continue with your ESPN. So anyway, Christian McCaffrey, the number one running back in the league, has been traded hmm. to the 49ers. Don't you say some stupid shit right now. Uh, I, I was, <laughs> was going to give you a chance to talk about Saquon, but you know, all right, go oh, on. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I like that. I, I, saw like, something, I... I saw something like on a tweet today, like oh, all the women are going to be like super hot now that the Niners have all these like super good looking men or whatever. Um, I don't know if this guy, I've never, is this guy really good looking? I've never. So that's actually perfect what that you, you asked. Because we actually want to know. Melissa. Yeah. Is this man going to succeed in, in San Francisco? Oh, I have bad news for you guys. Oh, wow. oh no. Um, so he looks like... <clears throat> A I don't know how to say headlights. this uh, kindly, but I, I don't think he's going to do well. That's mm. good news for us. What are you talking about? Oh, okay. I thought you Bad news him. is he's soaking up everything. Yes. <laughs> I'm getting a similar vibe as Mr. Biscuit, mm. where wow. he definitely has an ego on him. Um, and I'm not sure if he will sh- prove that. I think he will. Um, well, I hope for your sake. I hope he does. But, you know. Not for my know. sake. For Berkey's sake. He's the one that has him on his <laughs> team. Oh, yeah. yeah. He seems like a... You know, I wouldn't go on a date with him because I think he would maybe, um, I don't trust him. All right. yeah, I don't All trust right. him. Yeah. You guys heard it here first, San Francisco 49ers. You should not trust Christian McCaffrey. Nope. That, that's what's going on here. I, on the other hand, think that they just became uh, maybe not favorites to win the West, but certainly a playoff contender overnight. Uh, okay. They might be favorites. I mean... Yeah, the Rams aren't doing well. The Rams, the Rams are, are not looking good right now. struggling so bad. Their line is just done. It has so to be just, the line, right? Yeah. yeah. For, for, I, would, I would think. Is I mean, it injuries or? Yeah, tons of injuries. Okay. So, uh, yeah. I mean, you got the Cardinals hurting. They stink. Car- the Cardinals. <laughs> they didn't stink last night. They I mean, they do stink. The, yeah. the Saints just also right. stink. For what yeah. it's worth, the Cardinals did just get back DeAndre Hopkins last night. He did have a 100-yard game. He did. Wow. So, like, that was nice. To, I, I, I also have him. That was nice to stash him away for seven weeks, just waiting for him to come I back. I stole Benjamin off the way. waiver wire. Did you? Yeah. That's, That's a nice. Good one. He had yeah. like 100 yards last night too, right? Touchdown, 23 points. Nice, Let's go. nice, I have nice. Eli uh, Mitchell in... Mitchell? Yeah. In a couple leagues, which just sucks now because he's been hurt, waiting to get him back, and now Christian McCaffrey just comes <laughs> walking in. He's going to take all of his action, all of his uh, snaps, and drop him. Man, yeah. that shit you know, loaded. McCaffrey is uh, he's injury prone, so maybe I'll just hold on to him for a week or two. Wow, 49 has got some trading pieces right now in the running back position. Mm-hmm. Wow, well, Ashley of. has a really good idea. We should talk hot male poker players. Mm, yeah, let's. starting with uh, these four right maybe here. Maybe I'll maybe I'll um, <laughs> I'll come up with a like a top ten or something. I need to talk about basketball is that at some point. 
Yeah. You, no, I you do fine. know that I do As write men, in the chat. you guys, are you okay with being objectified? We so desperately <laughs> want to be <laughs> objectified. Please. You guys like, only get objectified by each other. I, no. <laughs> there's like a <laughs> Well, we have to do no, it. There's, 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 going my to. brother said if you date a guy who's into the gym, you have to compliment him on his physique because we only get complimented by other dudes on our physique. Mm-hmm. Like, all we get is like, nice pecs, bro. And we're only doing it for like the uh, girls. No. I don't know. If you're <laughs> no, you, honestly, uh, honestly, I feel weird when a girl compliments your muscles yeah because they do it in like a they do it in a way that like over exaggerates it oh like if a dude compliment like when wait, well looking solid <laughs> I, I, will, tight. I will say i will say that like every time jacoon compliments me on it i feel like it's just like loaded in his head of like oh berkey works out as soon as i see him i'm gonna compliment him on working right. out but <laughs> um like when dudes do it it's just like you know they they notice something that's actually true like hey like you're Look at a little more tapered today. Uh, it's like, oh, okay. I've been cutting. Okay. Thank you. Shout like, out to Zervion. Welcome to That's the That's not how you say it. Zervion. All right. Welcome <laughs> to the Nerds of Radiacs. <laughs> yeah, we, when I walked it, into the studio today, Berkey was, uh, he was shirtless. He was, cha- he was yeah. changing into his uh, true, classic. true classic shirt. Uh, get a 25% discount by using yeah. uh, only Their biggest code. discount they <laughs> offer. <laughs> I and that. I thought he was just going to do the uh, podcast, you know, shirtless and... I don't know, man. He was looking pretty good. His pe- wow. pecs are sticking out. And, you know, wow, there's yeah. a lot of sexual tension over there in the Pittsburgh <laughs> corner. Well, I mean, I you know how, we know I how he feels just... about me, right? So yeah. I figured I'd just, you know, I'd give I him know. a little less, a little, gotta, little back you, his way. Yeah, you got to string yeah. him along a little. Right, I know exactly. the long game. The as, as, <laughs> as this conversation's going on, I literally just got sent two nudes. <laughs> Guapo, can you pull those up? Just to pull you a sex team? Wait, wait, wait. Talk about, talk about Does he work out too? Yeah, I was going to say, either. Why are you sending Berkey yeah, nudes? <laughs> are you sexting during the podcast? Or are these uns- <laughs> just random nudes that got sent to she, you? She likes to send them to me in the m- most inappropriate times. Is there, Actually, it's that, a game. I respect, that. I respect that. I think I would do like that. Like she's watching. I was going to say, yeah, she's no, watching. I actually relate. Oh, like, wait, I, I like watching? that. <laughs> I feel like if I was dating a guy on a podcast, I would definitely send him some like I've seen now. photos while Reveal he's on Reveal yourself. There. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know what you do, Burke? I mean, Jen, you just write the at sign and just hit every letter and then make your guess. There was a time <laughs> There was a time that I was playing live at the bike. Uh, it was when we all went to... Oh, no. It was when we all lived at... Or we all stayed at Manhattan Beach for like a week. I can't remember what the hell the game it was. It was when we went to Disney World. Oh, Burke, you there pants now. now. That's fucked up. <laughs> were you were you the Disney? Yeah, I was. Okay, yeah. yeah. It was that week. Uh and I was playing live at the bike prior and I was sitting in the nine. So this was like twenty eighteen ish, somewhere around there. We were still allowed to have our phones at the table. The game I was playing was just like so dry and boring, like smallish. I just didn't care. And I was on my phone the whole fucking time in the nine seat. And I don't know if everybody remembers the old room setup, but but the wide shot was behind the dealer. Oh, no. Like, I know. I, I can see oh, when people, like, no. open their phones, like, on the pre-shows <laughs> and stuff, I, can, I always look at their phones. I'm like, what they got on there? So I, I, was, <laughs> I was texting the whole time, and for, like, five hours, I was sexting with somebody. Just getting, not purposefully, but like but she don't was. Don't you guys have boners when you're sexting? <laughs> Why are you doing this in public? No, no. I mean, it de- depends don't on attention. Can... I, I didn't. I wasn't initiating. I mean, obviously, the, it was. It, doing here? It's the game. It, it's the girls doing it. Like oh. it's a game to them. Yeah. And they know that you're focusing on something else, uh-huh. and they want to distract yeah, yeah, yeah. you. So it's like you're. I'm just getting bombarded with nudes for like five hours. Right. I'm sitting like this, and about halfway through, it dawned on me. I was like, I wonder how much of that made air. <laughs> Probably you, go back and look? Some. you know what yeah, the, the like uh. dumbest fight i ever had with an ex was when he was playing playstation and i would get like annoyed that he wasn't paying attention to me so i had the playstation app on my phone so i would send him playstation mess messages while he was playing so it would pop up repeatedly on the screen while he's playing and i'm just like hello pay attention to me and then he, he got, it was like re- ruining his games we got I feel, so I mad feel like, that's pretty fun i feel like 25 percent of porn that i've watched starts that way of like a frustrated mm. girlfriend watching her boyfriend game yeah and then it turns into a strip tease just... anyway well, talking about your you and porn yeah i found the new way for you to make money Oh. Okay. oh yeah we found a new way for you to make money we did find a new way for you to make money it was I'm all um, ears yeah it was thrown at me a little um right before the show guapo do you have a clip for that 
I believe so. All right. Sorry about that. A new way Ch for Ch who to make money, Berkey? What, what is this? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, no, not that one. That's not it. Did I ruin your bit? Did I ruin your bit? I'm so sorry. It's, it's the only, <laughs> only <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> this is what Berkey's doing in his spare time when he's not here. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Well, um, okay, what is the way here's to Here's what he's that? actually doing. I would have to wax my head <laughs> for it to look that way. I don't even know if that so, would work. Nope, nope, nope. This is not going on? Papa, where are you so, at, dog? So here's the real problem. Chin really just fucked us up. No, and listen. His, later, his only fans thing well, was later on in the show. We gotta keep talking about it and give him time to pull it up. So <laughs> yeah, you gotta yeah, keep yeah, talking. Because yeah, 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 you're, right. you're putting him on the spot. He's okay, so we saw I didn't know much about it, so. We saw something this morning right before right before we got on air like last minute and i was sitting here like damn how's Berkey gonna make money man like what? <laughs> that's what you spend your time thinking about yeah. i'm just sitting here damn. like how's Berkey gonna I'm make like damn money? Berkey owes me twenty thousand. <laughs> how's he gonna make money and then i saw i'm just like scouring Ooh. do you do you need that back in cash or can i wire it to you i'm <laughs> I'm so lazy right now. Time out, dog. I gave you cash. You gave me cash. Fuck. All right, fine. Uh, <laughs> I gave it to you nicely wrapped. I want it wrapped too. Well, Don't give it to me bag. with a rubber band. Give it to me with a nice wrap. I'm really relishing the show derailing and watching Conrad in the chair squirming it's, a little bit. Great. Like we had a plan. Just, we had a fucking a plan. No plan. Allow I'm, the chaos. No, so he's like, this is what I So I found out week. today every day, every that day. if you rent your house. Uh, you could maybe see your house on an OnlyFans channel. If I rent my house, where am I going to live? You can stay here. I'm, <laughs> about this. I'm currently living rent free. This is not a money but making you, but idea. But it's not a plus mm. EV. You're rent free, well, but are you, you making money? You could stay there. Why don't, why don't you oh, just yeah, stay you could there? Oh, yeah, you stay there with the OnlyFans. And lady. have them move into your room. Or you could that just. That sounds like a bad deal for you guys, but sure. No, not. They'll move <laughs> in with you in your room. Oh, I just have a. Crew people living in my yeah, bedroom. Yeah, you they can live in your you bathroom. Sitting, honestly, you have a sitting room, so yeah, they can like. This works. Yeah, you have a pretty big bathroom. You they, can put bunk beds. They would in love there. it. I, I will say that my bedroom is certainly designed for OnlyFans. <laughs> it, it probably is. One hundred. My shower oh, is like eight hundred square is feet. Immaculate. <laughs> it's, it's great. Rob, I'll roll that. Basically, what happened was uh, Rob was going to roll that right there. My friend um, owns a house. That he rents out, like on VRBO. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And a friend of his was like, um, I follow an actress on OnlyFans. Oh, and my God. She was performing in a kitchen that was your kitchen. Oh, my God. No way. And, like, basically, he'd act. Do you, do you guys um think that's what happened here and that's why we got this place? I know that's what's happened here. Yeah. But do you think like the realtor was like on or like the person that owns a place that was owned this place, whatever, was looking on Google and was like, holy shit, that's my bathroom. <laughs> um, no. Uh, and no, then, I and don't think so. And they kicked them out? No, I don't think so. Like a lot of this community, at least half of the, the uh, residencies in this community, I think have had porn shot in them. I'm, really? At some point. Already. I think at least four houses right now are porn houses in this. Currently. We, currently. Well, okay. So it's, do you make more from renting to a porn shoot than normal people or? I don't no, think definitely, you know. Yeah. The, the realtors don't know. Okay. So. It's just these places are designed really well. I mean, that's why we picked it. Like, it's, just designed, <laughs> <laughs> it's designed well for porn. really well yeah. for production. It is. It really yeah. is. It's, it's, there's so much open space. I'm, I'm actually really salty. Uh, Andre and I had this idea right before the pandemic that we were going to buy this unit and the neighboring one or one other like dual unit in this complex somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, and we were going to, so you guys. Can you knock the wall down in the middle? Yeah. So nobody knows what the bottom layout looks like, I guess, unless you've been to the academy. But basically it's a, it's a kitchen and then this wide open floor space with a loft above it. And we do the podcast on the loft. We were talking about knocking the wall down mm -hmm. um, between the two kitchens and just creating like a 2,500 square foot studio space. That's cool. That would be where really we would have cool. been able to do whatever the yeah, fuck we sick. wanted. Wow. But we looked and like these places are okay, but they're townhouses. They're 2,900 square feet, 3,200 square feet, something along those lines, like relatively big, but they're loft style. Like 
very non-Vegas home. Mm -hmm. And at the time, the market wasn't like anywhere near peak. So that was right around when I built my house, uh, which to give you a comparison, I built it for 750. It's li listing for 1.6. So like the market was Damn. way lower then. Um, <laughs> We Where'd you like, hear this? Big balling. We, we were like, we were like, yeah, if we could get, if we could get the full unit for like five hundred, <laughs> we should just do this. And we look, and each one's listing for like four fifty. We're like, fuck, that's so stupid. Like, mm -hmm. there's just no way these places are worth that much. Last year, this unit sold for like seven hundred seventy-five thousand. It's crazy. Wow. And Wild. it doesn't even have a backyard. It makes yeah. no like, sense. Has, like there are other ones in this complex that have like pools pool, in the backyard right, or whatever. Yeah. Our backyard is like literally a, a tiny little four by four piece of concrete. Yeah. With a jungle in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that scout looks out and is like, <gasps> birds. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on back there? But yeah, it feels like an opportunity lost now that uh, you know basically doubled and. We're kind of in the situation where uh, it would be nice to kick off a stream or something. Yeah, along those lines. that would have been sick. Yeah, that would have been pretty cool. So, well, it looks like there's going to be some. I'm sale, in the market for like buying houses and renting it to soon. the OnlyFans people. Okay, let's do that. You talk to Adam Twenty Two. Maybe you could become a manager. I don't want to be a manager. Oh, okay. The Excuse WPT me. game. I want to I buy the house and then let let. You don't want to talk to their uh, patrons for them? I don't think you're making what you think. Yeah, yeah. you're not. You're, just, you, you're better off you just, get rent, just buying a place and renting it. It doesn't have to be OnlyFans. Well, yeah. I, I'm, yeah, okay. I mean, the thing <laughs> is you would set up studios. <laughs> the thing is you would set up studios. And that's the reason why people would pay an upcharge for yeah. renting that. Yeah. But other than that, like, you're not getting that um, much more. The house that... I'm in remember the, the, the WPT space. game that Landon played on? Yeah. yeah. They rented a house in Vegas, and right. it was a couple that did OnlyFans. That's the that's the mm. house that Guapo and I worked at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Very nice people. Yeah, I heard they <laughs> I didn't mean, leave. Sure. <laughs> I heard they just stayed. They just hang, hanging out. This, like, at this rate, so many people are on OnlyFans. I feel like it's like you could walk around, and like twenty percent of the people you see are on on there. I'm not gonna lie, like it, it, it's so fun doing this podcast sometimes because it's like. I get actual text messages of people that are like watching. They're like, I'll be your realtor. <laughs> yeah, obviously it's, it's not a buyer's market right now. Yeah, they're, they're seeing they're 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 it. Yeah. That's crazy. That's so awesome. Bro. Caleb said he'll manage the, um, we already oh, have a team. Okay, like we have a go. realtor Caleb manager. Will be the guy that's uh, messaging the, the guys asking for butthole pics and stuff. <laughs> and then Caleb, you're going to have to say like, Oh, I'm so turned on right now. Like you're going to have, to come up with some creative messages for honestly them. that's that's where all the money's at uh this this girl that i know who's been doing only fans for like a year and a oh, half yeah, she makes a lot right that she's she like crushes. a top person on there yeah she makes like 100k a month um oh uh, what why don't you date her crushes yeah but, why don't, I you, have don't you need a sugar mama she, she went of course we all do <laughs> uh but she wants to get like out of actually creating the content and then just managing other girls mm. because like that's where the money All, is. Well, well, it's it's uh, it's such a, a mechanism, right? It's such a machine where, obviously, the the end result is posting nudes and and having people come mm -hmm. but all of the money is generated from creating a funnel yeah and it's like she's just able she has like seven tiktok accounts that all have six figure followers and mm -hmm. you know whatever it's a way so to it's scale like, yeah it's just like being able to continually do this uh, and replicate it over yeah. and over and over uh -huh. again I don't get it. It's just like, I mean, I guess. Well, they, it's really a grind. I feel like this is, it's kind of interesting conversation, but I feel like people, like a lot of guys will say, if I was a girl, I would start OnlyFans immediately. Like, I don't know why my brother's always like, I don't know why you don't start one. You would make <laughs> like, just, if I was a girl, like I should have been the girl in the family, blah, blah. So <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I, I'm like, <laughs> Oh yeah, 100%. he wishes he was the girl like so bad. And he's like, you're way more of a dude than me. It's so unfair. So, but I feel like people underestimate how much work it is. Like they really, those the top creators on there are really grinding. Like they mm -hmm. have content schedule. They have content for every single day laid out. Like they're like hustling. Like they are. I think they actually they're do hustling those booty hole picks. <laughs> <laughs> I think they actually do it to avoid the grind, right? Mm -hmm. Because like. uh that's that's both how you scale and also like how you keep your sanity so yeah. you're only sure. working like an hour a day that's true yeah you just sure. make the so like she's she's with a management company um that's taking i think like 15 or 20 percent something along those lines yeah and she's like it's totally worth it like it, it allowed me to scale but now i know how to do it right and it's like you're so much better served just getting 10 people under you and taking 20 percent of them 
That's than true. you are to just like mm-hmm. do it over and over. Because eventually, you know, people have seen your butthole enough. I know. <laughs> and and you, you, get old, you get old eventually, or you maybe you just want to stop taking the same pictures. There's probably a market for that, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. yeah there, the there definitely market. is. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. I think it seems like a lot of work. Like I've I've talked to people who make like the low end and they're like, yeah, like it's just like a ton of work. Like so people like I think that some people get into it assuming that they'll just instantly make a lot of money, but like I don't think that's Well, like I think that. like being hot or having a kink is a prereq. Right. But it's not what makes you it's not what makes you any level of money. It's just what makes you uh, it, it gives you entryway into being able to pursue it. Yeah. What makes you the money is being really good at the marketing. Right. Being able to scale a TikTok mm-hmm. and drive that funnel mm-hmm. to your OnlyFans, being able to do the same on uh, across all social platforms, and you know, just that's that's the grind. Yeah. Like, it's not the taking the of pictures and yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised there isn't an app yet that you can just um, basically post to all you social can. media. Hootsuite. Oh. Well, well, yeah, we've we've oh. just been paying for it for two years. We, we barely, have. We, we barely we pay use for it. it. We barely use it. Well, Yo, Guapo, can you pull start. up? A, can you pull up a photo of Demi Lovato? She's hot. Demi Lovato. I get this Maybe one all the time. Why? Why? I'm not what? sorry. That's Christian's gonna, right yeah, Christian's gonna play the game of go. twenty girls that he's seen in the last it's week. So look crazy! Like Every time I'm gonna start sending pictures of women that just look zero like me and see she if he does still says look it. like you a little no, bit. No, yeah, this one I get Demi like, Lovato the most out of anyone. Hmm. I, I, I can see so. Demi Lovato. I mean, I guess it's I don't think so. I don't see it. She's got a uh, well. You can't chin. say it now because you called her super hot. You're She's not gonna be like different chin than me. Well, yeah, but you know, I think she has like. I find her really attractive, but I think she has masculine features. Yeah. Demi is thick, too. That's what she's so, th- ahead, I'm thinking of a little new segment for us. Okay. Not fully prepared for it yet, but, you know, I, thought about, to, it I, I thought about it today in the shower, so we're going to roll with it. All right. It's called the Weekend Warriors section. Is this like the Friday uh, thing that happens on Thursday? Yeah. Yeah. No. Super Chat th- Friday was yesterday. Right, right. Today so, so is, is this, Weekend is this... Warriors. Right, right. So, so you're always just a day ahead of schedule? Yeah. That yeah. works. All right. <laughs> so we have the Weekend Warrior picks of the week. We're going um, to find out what people like, what, what we like in this room, what bets we're looking at, what we're going to do. Not that anybody bets here, really, but, you know, let's get some picks. What do we think is going on? I'm gonna start with Melissa. How are you feeling this I'm, weekend? I'm good. I am. Ha- I have been instructed to choose someone I think will be successful this weekend, and my choice is Sugar Sean O'Malley. Sugar Sean. Sugar, Sugar Sean. Sean. Is this based off looks or the name? Um. No. Hopefully it's I've both. Said, well, UFC. See, like you guys talk about ball sports. I don't give a shit about that. But UFC. <laughs> like I'll watch a couple men fight. You know, I watch that shit. So you're aware he's a huge underdog, honor. right? I uh, and yeah, I was kind of surprised to see that. I don't know the other guy. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. I, I I mostly came up with the women's straw weight because that's what I would fight if I fought UFC. So I like to watch them, and plus they go really hard. Men's heavyweight and women's straw weight, the two best. These categories. two men are very small. Yeah. Individuals. Yeah, they're not big. Yeah. One thirty-five. Sugar Five Sean 11. looks like a SoundCloud rapper. Wait. <laughs> Five eleven, one thirty-five. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's that one, inch, thin. one inch shorter than like me and ex. sixty pounds lighter. Wow. Yeah. So Melissa's going with Sugar Sean at plus two twenty-five. Yeah, I gotta mm. place a bet. Yeah. If anyone wants to take, if anyone wants to like be my uh, uh, per, s- pretend bookie because that's illegal or something, um, <laughs> I'll book at plus three fifty. What? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you know how this works. This is how I negotiate. The, betting is not negotiable. Yeah. Yes, yes it, it, is. it is. I mean, if you look at different lines. In the, in the market, the, yeah. yeah. The I line found, is what it is because the market said it. Yeah, yeah. but well, there's, there's but another I'm, market. I'm Here's mine. the thing. There's a secondary <laughs> I market. Found, I found Sugar Sean at plus 225, but I also found him at plus 325 on five times. Ooh, see? There so, you go. Hmm. It's, it's, a, mm. it's a big gap there. I would bet is that some sh- sort of giveaway? I gotta go on uh, five times. I don't, I don't <laughs> That's a pretty significant difference. It could, depend on, it could know. also depend on the book and how much action they're getting yeah. on one side, which, which maybe they might bump up the other side to, to you know, even <laughs> it out. That's a lot, though. Yeah, it is a lot. It is a lot. Well, we got a little um, super chat here from Brian. He says, thanks for the shout-out, Chin. 
I bagged 491k last night in the 100k at resorts in New York. Day two Sunday when I win, I'm gonna give five gift five wow. memberships. Thank wow. Shout out to you, Brian. Brian. Absolutely, good luck, brother. Grappa, what are you, you thinking over there? What you got for the weekend? What you got cooking? I know you're a big UFC fan. Talk yeah. to me. Um, so I'm gonna piggyback with Melissa. I really like Sean O'Malley. Uh, Sean O'Malley, honestly, has been going through everyone. Uh, and I think the important thing to note here, I think they had the stats here. Give me one second. I think the important thing to note here is Peter Yan is coming off of a loss to Aljamain Sterling, who's an inch taller, had a four inch reach advantage. Sean O'Malley, five inches taller, has a five inch reach advantage. Oh, yeah. And they're both stand up fighters. Peter yep. Yan is going to have his hand. Uh, he couldn't get on the inside against Aljamain. Um, if it goes the distance, I can't see him out pointing Sean. So at plus two twenty five, uh, I just don't, I just don't see how this is a bad pick. I Free think money. Great pick. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's, Let's go. go. We're going to go down to the Bellagio Sportsbook right after this. <laughs> <laughs> right after. It sounds like you know, sounds like the squad's all in on Sean O'Malley this weekend. I like Islam. Islam. Yeah. I, I just like anybody that fucks with Habib. Like I'm in. Like that's it. So that's your pick for the week on Islam? Yeah, yeah. Just like if you're if you're in with Habib, like yeah. mother, dude, you're, you're hard. <laughs> like you're hard, bro. You're wrestling fucking bears. Yeah. Like whatever it is, man, let's get it, man. This guy's that, that team's a machine. Um Guapa, do you know what the line is on that one? Uh I wanna say plus one seventy five for uh Charles Oliveira. All right, so that means he's like minus one forty for Islam. All right. Or he says, uh Peter Jan and I have similar numbers, I would prob fuck him up. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Corey uh, Gasm in the chat. Uh, yeah. Corey's 135? Man. That makes sense. No, he's he's gonna be a little more than that. I was 128 when I was eleven. Stop, <laughs> Burke. This isn't about you. Yeah, I had a hard time. Man? I had a hard time making weight for, for Pee Wee football. My ex was like he six foot probably, 120. But, Corey says he's probably 145. And then like, you know, after a weekend oh, of drinking. Cut. Yeah. He's 150. All right, all right. What are the Yinzers feeling this weekend? What you guys got on the plate? Steelers. Well, yeah. Steelers. Steelers. Come on. Steelers plus seven at the Dolphins. Yeah, I'm going to take a touchdown. So I, I would have bet him even. What's the money line? Oh, shit. I think Ooh. that's like plus 250. Is Mr. Biscuit like queuing? No. All right, yeah. Kenny? yeah Kenny's fucking, back. He Kenny's cleared, back. Yeah, he but cleared uh, concussion biscuit? protocol this morning. Yeah, get the so, biscuit out of there. So did you guys lose Kenny the first play of last week or something? Third quarter. No, yeah. Was it third quarter? Halftime, maybe. Second quarter. Okay, it seems like Mitch about got a halfway lot of... through the game, somewhere, yeah. somewhere oh, okay. along those lines. Yeah, I um, think it was third quarter though. But yeah, he's back. He he. Uh, I he, couldn't he, figure out how he's he got young. A concussion. His brain heals fast. I just could not figure out how he got a concussion from that play. Me either. I thought he broke his ribs. That's what I thought. I'm like, oh my god, did he break his sternum or yeah. his ribs or like a collarbone or something like that? I didn't see him unless when he fell back, his back of his head. I, I mean, I watched the replay that, a bunch. That, of, obviously, it looked like that had to be what happened. But right. I mean. But that that's what that's what happens. That's kind of what happened to Tua. Yeah. Speaking of Tua, I think he's coming back this week. He is. So you guys, you know, Steeler fans are gonna have the hands full. He is. Yeah, actually, yeah, we're gonna have our hands full. This guy can't see straight. Oh my god! I got think... cussed six times in a matter of a no. week. No. <laughs> no. This is crazy. Twice. This is like why I would be so worried if my if I had a son and he wanted to play football. He, he no, literally no, no, got no. a concussion. Was a zombie on the field and they let him finish the game. Concussions are no uh -uh. joke. No, 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 no football for. Her. You shouldn't let your son play football or box. I like, wouldn't, just, yeah. You just get too many I'd blows to the head. I'd rather him play rugby. Mm -hmm. Rugby's probably bad. Rugby, rugby the one, too, the, the like one with no pads? Yeah, yeah but, but <laughs> no isn't, pads, it, no isn't it it's, it's like bare, because they have the pads, they kind of go like, Yeah, it's harder. like bare-knuckle boxing. Oh, like, yeah. More damage is done through the equipment. Right. Well, that might, might make sense. Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. you still get fucked up in rugby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, let's, let's be straight. You're going to break a collarbone a lot. You're going to do some shit, but... I don't know. Can Less he, maybe he'll be a dancer. I don't know. Yeah. If I have a son. Mm. Right. I, I took the Chiefs. Yeah. I, I took the Chiefs minus two. Uh, okay, Chiefs are playing? In, in San Francisco with the uh, newly uh, CMC. Oh, but shit. I, you know, he doesn't know the playbook yet. I mean... He, he might I'll not take San Francisco much. plus hold two. On, hold on. You, I'll take wow. the road dog. You, you realize, or the home dog, rather. Listen, I, listen, listen. You got Patrick <laughs> Mahomes, right? You got the Chiefs. They're one of the best teams in the NFL, for sure. Anytime I think you can get them home, away, wherever, where they're uh, under three points uh, favorites, right? You have mm -hmm. to lay less yeah. than three points. I think, I think it's a pretty good bet. I need to disrespect the Bills like that. 
Wow, you did. I said one uh, of the best teams. One and, of the best. And teams, you are aware right? that the Bills gave them three points, right? Or mm-hmm. and got smacked. Oh, yeah, up, right? but you know the the Niners also aren't the Bills. Well, right. Uh, Josh Allen, Jimmy G. He's he's good looking guy, but you know he's no Josh Allen. That, that might be true. That might be Bro, true. He's but a game manager, and he has the best player in the league to just dump off to all day. All day well, long. We'll see what happens. All... McCaffrey's going to have 26 catches. My Debo <laughs> stock just went to the fucking <laughs> shit. Yeah, no, that's really that's, – that's actually kind of cool. I, I, honestly, I do think that, that McCaffrey's going to be amazing for them. But like I said, it's, the fir- it's, it's literally the – he's just getting there. Like, he doesn't know the playbook. And what, do you, like, what does he need to know? I Screen knew you were going to say that. What Screen pass. You know? Screen what pass. It's, no, it's a little <laughs> hey, more – Hey, flank it's out. It's a little more complicated <laughs> than that. You know this kid went to fucking Stanford, right? Uh, who did – Christian McCaffrey. McCaffrey. Yeah, no, I'm not saying he's not a smart you think, man. You think he can't figure out a playbook in fucking four days, Listen, three days? Listen, it's not like, you know, it's not like super tech mobile where you have four Bro, plays. Uh, they're, they're running playground shit in the, in the huddle. It's just like, do you want me to flank left or right? <laughs> <laughs> just let me know. And, not, and honestly, it's fucking San Francisco, which does, they do run a lot of playground fucking plays. Like <laughs> a West lot, Coast <laughs> offense? A lot of fun stuff, yeah. a lot of fun stuff. Well. Who you got? Me. <laughs> you, got, you got the Yankees? You got no, the Yankees I, I, tomorrow uh, with Cole on the mound? No? I'm, I'm not They betting, need to win. I'm not betting the fucking Yankees against this <laughs> stupid fucking cheating motherfucking Astros fucking garbage banging motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm not fu- God damn it. Garbage what the fuck banging. is going on? What is this bullshit? Did you see Justin Yankees get- pay the most? They, 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 first of all, their entire starting rotation is former Pirates, but... They pay, they pay up for the best perceived pitching talent in the league, and they never show up in the playoffs. They're like the Dodgers. No, I, no their pitching has been great. I think their actually. pitching has been great. Yeah. But Tyler got touched up, didn't he? No. Who? No, no. They, they scored four runs total in that game. I mean, it's not. Yeah. Tyler Ty pitched well. Uh, they've, been, they've, they've been pitching pretty and well. And Servi pitched great. He made, he made one mistake um, yesterday that cost him. But, but you know, it's three runs, like. It's just the Astros, the Astros are so good at fucking good. cheating, man. They are. Like, they just evolve every year. It's so fucking crazy. I don't you think you know they're still th- cheating? Uh, I don't think they're still cheating. I don't, I don't know. I mean, not with Dusty Baker in there. Not he, with Dusty Baker. Hmm? Doesn't he have like a background of dude? Like, no, I think he's. Fun stuff? <laughs> no, you're thinking Ron Washington. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah Dusty Baker's a pretty respectable man in the, uh, in the baseball world. So I think he's, you know. Ron Washington likes tight. crack. Yeah, that's that. That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> My pick is the J E T S Jets. 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 Wait, oh, they lost last night to the, uh, the Golden Knights. I have a question. Mm-hmm. I thought wrong that Jets. The, <laughs> I thought the Jets were the worst New York football they team. They stink. I thought the Giants they were the good New York They are team. the worst New York football team. They both team. stink. But let me tell yeah. you something about the Jets. They are going into Denver this weekend, and they are getting at Russell? half a point. Russell, what? So Russell what? Wilson also stinks. <laughs> <laughs> I've noticed that I feel like more people from New Jersey like the Jets. That's true. I like Jets, Giants. I like them both equally. I like all New York teams. Uh, yeah, um, more, more New Jersey leans Jets Yeah, a little, bit, a little bit more. I mean, Long yeah. Island also leans Jets. Yeah, that's true. That's so true. it's kind of weird. The Giants suburban, are more. The Jets are, a sub, are there for the suburban. Yeah. The Giants <laughs> lean, I feel like, a little bit more of like direct Manhattan. Yeah. Like, I yeah. guess Fireman like Ed. Yeah. Fireman Ed makes sense, you know, for the people. Jets lean a little bit more like New Jersey's uh, and then like Long Island. Mm-hmm. Like the outer. There's a picture of me skirts. as a baby with a, a big Giants hat on. What's the, uh, so what's the line? So the line started at um, Denver <laughs> minus four. Which obviously fucking immediately dropped to um, Denver minus a half a point. Half, yeah, it's about so to pick them at this I point. I think that – so the thing is about this game, it's like the Jets uh, – Zach Wilson, you know, he's not playing great. He's, he's, he, but he's managing the game and whatnot. And they're figuring out ways with, the, like, running the ball. The defense has been playing absurd out of their fucking minds. Look, so Bryce Hall is great. Yeah, no, he's – Bryce Hall has been great. Brees, Bryce Hall or Brees Hall? Brees. Brees maybe. Hall, yeah. Uh, he's been absolutely great for us, man. He's um he's crushing it. So I honestly I think the Jets can control the game, and that whole let Wells, let Russell cook shit, that that's out the window, man. <laughs> Seattle fans are the happiest people of the world right now watching this shit happen. Mm-hmm. They are they really so are. happy. I need I need to find this video of Russell Wilson um, with Pittsburgh dad. 
No, oh. no, no. <laughs> uh, man, I sent it to the group. I don't know when. 10 million videos he just, ago? He just yeah. embarrasses himself every opportunity that he gets. Yeah. And I yeah, need to a, find he's it. A, he's a strange so fellow. What, talk for sure. Both. At this point. <laughs> 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 Poor Wait, guy. Yeah, both at this point. Poor guy. Have you watched any basketball games? I tuned into um, the Lakers Clippers for a little bit last night. Um, mm -hmm. A little bit of the Knicks. Who the fuck did the Knicks play the other day? Uh, they played, um, was it the Grizzlies? Yes, it was the Grizzlies. Yeah, they, yep. and yeah, they didn't do well. Well, they I mean, they were, yeah, they were down by 20 and they came back, so it's yeah. it pretty cool. <laughs> no, um, so what, what do you think about basketball? What do you, you're a Lakers I, fan, right? I am a Lakers fan, yes. Uh, you're one of those fucking guys? Well, I was a Lakers fan since Kobe. Wait. For, for the longest time. And then I've watched probably you're like... you're supposed to like where your home team. Yeah, that's, I like that's, the, that's I what I said. He's like, he's one of those guys. You're a bandwagon. Yeah. Yeah. No, I just like Kobe yeah. ever since like he came in the league because okay. I was a Jordan fan, then transitioned yeah. into a Kobe fan. Um, and so... Guys. <laughs> one of those guys. Oh, oh yeah, one guys. of the millions of Kobe fans. Yes, <laughs> but he went from Jordan to Kobe. He, he just that's a very smooth transition. That's that's <laughs> so, that sounds like my brother. Yeah, no, that and then sounds I've like watched, every guy growing up. In the I watched 2000s. a lot of basketball games because we got league pass, uh, and so it's fun. How rich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how much is that league pass? Like seven hundred? Dude, relax. It's it's so it's it's cheap. Anyway, Gee. so so I got League Pass and I've been like really watching a lot That's of like basketball so much games. Rent, dude. But it's fun because like uh, Haral Haralabob's watching the games at the same time, and then like <coughs> like I would like have something to say and like I'll I'll message him and he'll like respond with uh, like real like yeah, real context. Analysis. Yeah, and I'm like yeah. I'm like damn, this is like the new way to watch basketball. Yeah, like, it's so much cool. He's been writing a lot of stuff yeah, on Twitter, so, and just like so, putting his ideas. So like out. I know, I, I wish I'm I watching it. it. I have thoughts, and then I'm like, oh, I wonder what Haralabob thinks, and then he'll write back, and I'm like, I do think the cool. the, the like uh, statistics part of sports is cool. Analytics. Yeah, I think yeah. that's cool. I'm uh I'm rereading. Well, I'm listening to it this time. Uh, I read it when I was in college, but now I'm listening to it. Uh, Moneyball. Mm -hmm. Um, which I I put a tweet out like a couple weeks ago that said, I imagine that uh, this is what fiction feels like for most other people. Like listening to um these types of. What's the last fiction book you read? Who knows? I tried to get through Infinite Jest. I got like two thirds of the way through twice. Everyone and says that's the fuckboy book. Ooh. The fuckboy book? Oh. Infinite Jest? Got that reputation. There's no way it, well, fuckboys are reading fuck Infinite Jest. Like, yeah, well, well, this is a specific type of Brooklyn hipster fuckboy. I mean, I yeah, sure, I guess. I, I could see it being like... Uh, hipster yeah like just straight hipster uh, that uh, whatever it's a it's a very very challenging book mm. um and it's super dense it's like yeah. 1100 pages or something i've heard that but did she lose 100 hours because of that book i did uh <laughs> i didn't even realize i lost it i thought i still had time because i was like <laughs> i was listening to it and i was taking the problem with listening to it is uh it's actually better because David Foster Wallace is like such an incredible writer and he's so descriptive in his language and uses so many complex adjectives that hearing the story play out rather than reading it, like it has a nice eloquence to it. Mm. But the problem is, is that with Infinite Jest, with this like 1100 page novel yeah. comes like a 400 page uh, footnote. So like every you know, 15 minutes or so you're listening and uh, there's a cue for a footnote oh. where you're supposed to get See, greater that's context. that's reading it physically is yeah. helpful because then you don't have to listen to the Yeah, so I, like I had the PDF with me while I was listening. It just became way too cumbersome. Yeah. Um, but I started, I started uh, listening to Moneyball again um, and I forgot, probably because I was in college whenever I first listened to it and I wasn't really deep in what the poker it, at that um, point. What is it? It's about, I don't know what this is. Oh, uh, you never saw the movie? No. Oh, wow. It, it'd be a good watch for you for sure. Um, so it's a book that was written. <laughs> what? What happened? What? <laughs> Look at the screen. <laughs> oh, Jesus. God damn it. Oh, God, the fucking goat. 
Oh, no, 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 so, Is there any room over in the kitty corner? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you ain't coming over here, motherfucker. That's for I'm sure. <laughs> you beefing now. <laughs> Ever uh, since you said his collar was worn out. So, so Moneyball. So Michael, Michael Lewis is the author, and he just... he. Uh, did you ever see The Big Short? He wrote that also. Uh, so he writes like a lot of these um, true stories that are... Like he almost has a certain romanticism. Like dramatized. That, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't think he. I don't think he uh, exaggerates anything. But like mm. just the way that he writes, it almost adds like this romantic element to it. So I mean, this entire book is about baseball statistics, basically. Yeah. Uh, and the business of baseball and how stats. Uh, I, I would love to see him write about modern poker, <laughs> like uh, like get to the point of understanding modern poker and write about it that way because. I find myself just like so dug in, mm. uh, and and I think the real reason that it's so fascinating to me is that the whole book is about Billy Bean and his understanding of sabermetrics and applying it to modern day baseball and basically just like looking at stats, mm -hmm. adding values to them and saying like, this is what's going to win us championships, right? Billy so, Bean was the GM of the athletics. Correct. Um, so essentially like he was able to get a weighted model where he put runs above all, like that was the sole goal. That's how you win games. And you could estimate how many games you would win based off how many runs you thought you would score. Okay. And runs are generated by slugging on base percentage. So he put a high emphasis on walks, all these things that don't matter. Yeah. What Michael Lewis did that was so genius that made anybody who gives a shit about any sort of like good storytelling or baseball in general is he characterized everything. Okay. So now it became about why all of these misfits landed on the athletes right or the athletics rather. right that's interesting right actually. so i'm listening to like scott hatterberg who was like this washed up catcher who uh you know had a what was thought to be a career ending injury and the athletics repurposed him as a first baseman and he uh had such a, a phenomenal season at the plate that they estimated him to be the best player in baseball in the sense of if you could replicate nine scott hatterbergs your team would win or your team would score a hundred more runs wow. than the highest scoring That's team in cool. the league. So you, mm -hmm. so you can sort of input that and like see how it would play out. Well, yeah. Is, yeah. Bert, have you ever read uh, big data baseball by Travis Sachek? Mm -hmm. It's, it's all about like, it's all about the pirates and coming up in like, like 2012, 13, when they, when they got good. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's all about like, cause they were on the forefront um, actually of analytics and, and, you know, pitch framing and shifting. And then like, they they got a huge edge, um, you know, and that's how they were a small market team able to win. And then everyone caught up, and obviously we're you here. Think where it's we're at, hard. It's a great book. The edge is smaller in fantasy sports than poker. Like uh, the the or, let me rephrase that the percentage of people winning. I think the top wins all the money in fantasy. Sports. If we're talking about I, I, daily, I think, I think it's pretty true of, yeah. of both. Yeah. Where, like like the, top, the, same. the top just wins all the money. Yeah. You think that it's like maybe like 5%? But I also think it's worse for in daily because like you can spread yourself out in fantasy and play every stake level basically. Yeah. Whereas in poker, you can't exactly do right, you that. You can't put it in the same volume. Yeah. Okay. So like, I feel like it just rises that, that, to the he's, top more. he's right in the sense of uh, it, it's not that there's a difference between the two industries that much. Like the top 5% are making all the money for sure. The difference that Conrad's alluding to is that there's no protection in the ecosystem. So uh, if you're a recreational and you're playing a $1 tournament, mm -hmm. you're also playing against the best in the world. Okay. Right. Exactly. I see. Where like, that's just, if you're playing a $1 sit and go online, you're playing other idiots who don't right. know what's going on. Not, yeah. not only playing the best in the world with one lineup, they max out, you can max out your lineups and put right. like 20, 30 but lineups in. But so. their lineups are public. Can people just copy them? You not until the it, lineups aren't public until it starts. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Until, until that until player starts. Okay. So, so it locks and then and then you yeah. I see. So you just make all your lineups and then just fire them into everything. Wow. Whether it's a one, it'd be like it'd be like if you could create your own bot for a for a tournament right. that would play and then you would just Don't put give it out. People to, ideas. No, no, I'm not. not. Always <laughs> that's cheating. All of a I'm taking an analogy. I'm making an analogy. Yeah. Tortoise out like if, here talking to the right, Russians. Right. Yeah. It's like if you could put your strategy. Uh, into every tournament and then it just plays like right so like so would you say you can have unlimited lineups mr unlimited unlimited 
Yo, this guy's the most cringe human being yeah. on the planet. Uh, this is oh, why your man, Jets man, bet man, is a good dumb. bet. The hell did I just watch? Hey guys, uh, Russell here. Hey, Russ. Yes, the typical boring, yes, Russell, the robot Russell, the one you guys love to know. <laughs> real, real exciting. You know, I'm real exciting. Um, but anyways, uh, everybody has to have an ultra ego. Do they? Right? And, and I've been thinking about what my ultra ego would be, and I, I, I think I have an alter ego. His name, his name's Mr. 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 Unlimited. What is this? You gotta be unlimited. You know, you gotta have a thought process of being unlimited. Please stop saying that. So when people ask you what you're thinking about or what you wanna do in life or where you wanna go, you gotta be unlimited. Tell them, I'm unlimited. I wish you were limited. You know what I mean? So when they ask you certain questions like, Who brings you motivation, Russell? Sierra, please don't help me with this. Mr. Unlimited. Who, who's your role model, Russell? Don't say unlimited. I've never Unlimited. seen that clip, but like I listen to uh, the Fancy Footballers, their podcast, and every time they talk about Russell Wilson, they have like a soundboard, right? And they have all these different, and every time they have, they talk about him, they hit the soundboard. And all you hear is Russell Wilson, "Unlimited." He's <laughs> got to be the biggest face? clown. Can you explain uh, uh, it for me real quick, like what happened there? Because I saw no, the group, the facial expressions. All I, mean, I, I don't know if here. it was like an unprovoked thing or if it was some sort, you know, like. Uh, uh, it, he manages to come up with like a new cringe thing over and over. Like, what is it now? Like, we ride or uh, right. <laughs> yeah, we ride, yeah, yeah what, 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 whatever, whatever the thing is with, uh, with the Broncos. Honestly, yeah. gotcha. Gotcha. That if it, like I don't think he's doing it on purpose, but great marketing strategy because it's gonna it, if True. you are cringe enough, it will go viral. He's doing yeah. these like he's doing these like subway commercials that are so cringe and so <laughs> weird, and then and Pittsburgh dad what's just his, like what's just his, like reacts to them. And it's, what's it's his so clothing funny. line? He has a clothing line. It's actually decent. I didn't know. Um, I didn't know that either. Fuck, what is it called? Good man or uh, Mr. Unlimited? <laughs> <laughs> he has a clothing line. The clothes are actually pretty good. I'm not How does he not, not call it unlimited clothing? <laughs> nah, nah, I think it's it called, might be already yeah, taken. You know what I laughed? The first thing I typed in Russell Wilson on Google, and the first thing it says is Russell Wilson cringe. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, like the, Bronco, the Broncos should have got a discount just on the fact that like he's unlikable. They yeah. damn sure they get a discount. I'll tell you that much. What is it called? Three it's brand. Mean, it sounds like he's making the best cringe content currently Good. out of anybody there is. It's called Three Brand. No, no, no. no. Good man. Oh, Good man. Yeah, it's it, the clothes are actually somewhat good. I mean, they're on. They're oh. at a. Hey, you get that members jacket, baby. No, they get. They're oh, at that a. That looks nice. I like those sweaters. They have some decent, have some decent oh, they clothes. They got some girl um, stuff. You have to Let's have see. like. Oh look at the, Oh my god, that's gonna make me sweat like crazy. Look at that stuff. The the level of swag you have to have to pull off a members only jacket is like. S -tier. What's a members me only that. jacket? Give me that shit. I could pull that off. Like a varsity. Letterman jacket? G girls can pull it off. Yeah. Guys, you're not allowed to it wear is, a varsity yeah, jacket. Yeah, yeah, you have to be cool. Guys, yeah. I have a varsity jacket from high school that I legitimately never wore. I'm going to wear like, it on it Monday. It was cringe in high school. Conrad could pull off. I'm going to wear it on Monday. Jacket. Mine? I'm going to wear your varsity jacket you have, on Monday. Like, fashion swag. I'll get, it, I'll get it shipped out. All right, let's do you it. You look good in some royal <laughs> blue, baby. <laughs> Where's it at? My grandma's. Yeah. Yeah. Still in a closet somewhere. But yeah, uh, just to wrap on the, the whole statistical aspect of sports, like, uh, I think that that is probably what's going to protect football forever and why it's America's most popular sport. Why? Because variance just is so... That, that's why there's so much... It's so high variance because they're all getting injured all the time? Well, it's only 17 weeks. <laughs> yeah. So the, oh. the, the sample is always so small. Okay. And that's why there's so much... Um, Parody? So much parody and so, so much turnover. So that would be like the hyper turbo PKO. Of exactly. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. It's just like, you know, watching a monkey fuck a football. Yeah. You're just like, it's like when go. you're watching baseball and then they play 162 guys, games. I'm sorry, Brian. Did what? you hear what the fuck he just said? Yeah, I heard it. I, I, tried we, to, we I can't go over that. I'm trying to just breeze right past it. Who like, the fuck has ever watched a monkey fuck a football? Okay, no, that's, first of that's all. That's a phrase. I know that one. Yeah, monkey that's a phrase. thing a football. Jane, that comes back from the Don't old... talk to me. I'm Dominican. <laughs> <laughs> monkey humping a football is a phrase. Yeah, that, that's from the like My horseback the old... riding trainer used to say that's what I looked like when I was riding. <laughs> he was so rude. He's like, you look like a monkey humping a football. <laughs> Straighten your back. When we, when, we play, <laughs> when we played underground in Pittsburgh, we played with a bunch of D-Gen bookies and hitmen and everything else. And every time that, you know, it was six ways to the big blind, he'd be like... Ten more dollars, I'd watch a monkey fuck a football for less. And flip it in. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's crazy. I see Guapo like loading up something real strong. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we see uh, a monkey fucking basketball. See, comedy is real life, yeah. man. It's true. Do you think that Billy Bean was like um Haralabas's like 
mentor. Like the reason why he started no, doing what but, he did. But that is a really good. No, no, no. I, this look. These models have been around forever. Uh, we just saw a big push for it in the early two thousands, where it, it was a it was a crossroads of two things, right? It was the steroid era. It was the introduction of uh, the luxury tax, and it was. Uh, like basically the first real push into the internet and technology and all those things, right? Yeah. So those models had existed forever, I'm sure, but it was people like literally writing on scratch yep, paper. Exactly, right? pen and right? paper. Mm -hmm. Rotisserie baseball leagues had become a thing. Fantasy had now started to emerge. Mm -hmm. And honestly, like fantasy, everything, fantasy sport, I don't think people realize fantasy sports started with baseball, which makes the most sense. It's, it's the most statistical. The, yeah, yeah, it's the most statistical. It has the highest uh, data sample mm -hmm. uh, sample. Um, and it was literally just guys looking at box scores, keeping score. Well, eventually, you know, the internet kind of took over and it branched out into all other sports. The reason why fantasy football is so fascinating is because of the variance, right? You right. can't really model it quite as well as you could basketball or baseball. And that's why the sharps bet baseball, right? Like it's, it's, the, it's the most beatable sport for people who are incredibly sharp because right. you have mm. the most data. There's the least unknown. What about and you soccer? also have the most, um, I mean, football. Volume. Uh, soccer, I would imagine, would be similar to, ba uh, sorry, football. I think soccer's tough to bet because it's like three lines. It's different. Like you bet tie. I think it's like playing back rat. You just push a lot, right? I guess I don't know, man. No, no, no. You bet either team or tie. So oh. it, it does. So ties a loss. Yeah, mm. I think I'm okay, pretty so sure. Soccer's like the survivor tournament of fantasy <laughs> you know, sports. Right. Sure, sure. But yeah, everything else has high volume. Uh, basketball and hockey both playing 80 games a year. Yeah. Like uh, one's an offensive game, one's a defensive game. So mm -hmm. the stats you're looking at are very different. You weight the models differently. But you know, we're we're in, we're in nerdum now man it's like true. uh we damn sure are N revenge of the nerds the yeah. nerds ruled it these days it's, it's, true. it's very true we need to change the nerds and brainiacs though that shit's whack wow <laughs> wow you know I'm what just... that sounds like a good idea what do, what do you want to change it to chin uh, we don't chin doesn't uh, know don't give any ideas sorry what we are gonna do <laughs> whoever comes up with our new name for our group uh oh he's gonna give stuff out you better watch out he's got mm. that company card uh, uh, you guys know what's happening right now. You see that smirk on my face. I'm giving away two months of the Sapa Y Academy. There you go. Give away stuff that doesn't cost us. You got it, baby. <laughs> two months free for the person that gives us our new name of our group. So you guys, you know, take the weekend. You know why Figure I hate when out. Conrad does these things on the fly? Why? How are these people giving us anything? All right, you know what? He doesn't we, give them any like mode of no. how. All right, or so what? here's your call to action. Hold on, you know. You gotta make a tweet Listen, or maybe something. Maybe he has it. Yeah, yeah, you know, just calm down. Give me a second. Yeah. I actually didn't think about it, but now that you told me, <laughs> <laughs> that's sure. why it's a fucking group podcast, man. Yeah. Jesus. Anyway, at us at Only Friends at the Only Friends pod. Just make I a tweet. Mm. Say, tell them you'll make a tweet they and they follow, can comment right. on that tweet yeah. or something. All right, cool. Yeah. So we're going right. to make a tweet yeah. today from the Only Friends pod. You have to mm -hmm. like, follow, you know, all that good shit. And somebody's going to win two free months. We're going to throw it around the group chats. We're going to take the best names and, you know, we're going to find out who wins this. It's $100 worth of value. Speaking of that, if you haven't already, please go like and subscribe. You know, join our community. Absolutely. Hit that join button. Let us know. Like, you get all these fucking cool emotes. Like, everything that I do in life is literally an emote right here. LMA9, LGIP. You can do it all, baby. All you got to do is pay $5 a month. And Honestly, the easiest way, I think, for us to come up with the community member name is just, like, stream more. Like, we had, we had, uh, I mean, this is a little bit different, but when Chim was streaming, he was doing the chat pro voice. That was always a <laughs> huge hit. That was fun. Uh, that was good. The the we had we had the Alpha Rex that turned into a line of merch for a little while yeah. that was fun. You just gotta if yeah. you're on the mic long enough you'll say like. Unfortunately, we can't make it the let's get it popping crew because that's stupid. But you know, what? wait. What? I said the what? friend zone, oh, and apparently that was too lame. Stop it. <laughs> I thought it was clever, but it is a little. Lame. It is clever. It's but clever, it's, but it's lame. It's, yeah. It's also yeah. yeah. So I think it, like, it are you, is crew. it allowed to change? Like, I mean, you. It, yeah, if you don't have a good name. Yeah, like, I mean, we could just do Tortoise and Friends. It could just That's be fun. like what the, the, <laughs> the theme shells. of the month is. Like. <laughs> no, I think that we, like, see, like, Joey's thing, the Legion, and that's cool. Yeah, like, and it stays. Like, you know, like, when we get in that fucking chat, you know it's time to lock in. The Legion right. locks in mm -hmm. yeah, when we strong. get in that chat. So, you know, we got to yep. figure out something. The know. nerds and brainiacs don't do shit. <laughs> yeah. They just 
sit we, there and go. I got to tell you, it was a, it was a workable name until you guys started making fun of it on the air. <laughs> yeah. I loved it. I actually and loved it the whole sudden, time. I don't. I yeah. never loved it. I Pe- thought it was people, so I thought whack. it was just a placeholder. I was like, nah. I thought it was fun. I, I agree with Berkey. I thought it was fine. Yeah. I mean, also, uh, whether it's a placeholder <laughs> or not, down. you don't call attention to it. Now people are unfucking joining. The- <laughs> 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 They're not you unsubscribing because of Unsubscribing. People are running away. They're on Joey's stream typing. We're with the Legion. Fuck these nerds and brainiacs. <laughs> nah, they don't do that. They don't do that. Actually, there's a lot of crossover. There's a lot of crossover. There's a lot yes, of yeah. crossover. There's, there's a lot room of for all well, of us. Well, he, he you know, he everyone. talks about our stuff on his. We talk about his on ours. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a threesome. Yeah. Cross promotion. A three? Go ahead, man. Like Unlimited. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You know, moving on. I was looking at the internet today. Okay. And I saw some things. Saw some things. I saw lots of things on the internet today. Mm-hmm. One thing that I saw on the internet today was um, a picture of a guy jumping into the Bellagio fountain. And it made me think. Good for one a year. It made me think. How much would it take for you guys to jump into the Bellagio fucking fountain? What are the repercussions you, Yeah, to this? that depends on the repercussions. Well, listen, we're not going to find that out yet. If I get arrested, it's I, I a lot assume more. You, you I think you're arrested. definitely getting arrested somehow. No. I don't know why. No. no. We know low, some... low, low probability. You can you get, get arrested, get... but it would just be like a fine. First off, you have to get caught. You have to get caught first off. No, you're definitely getting caught. That, what look, you how are you getting caught? That Bro, is... there's literally... I mean, at the daylight. minimum, at the minimum, like, they're going to know who you are for forever. That is not the first guy to jump in the fountain. <laughs> Certainly won't be the last. That's right. true. Homeless like people you, probably bathe in there, like, nightly. Like, if you That's somehow... I think you somehow got, diving into the shallow fountain is... I don't think of, it's shallow. I think it's, oh, like, really? quite deep. Yeah. I, I think they thought about this previously. I don't know how, <laughs> right, but there like, has to be some right. repercussions. No, They're right, not just going to no, let sorry, you not... If you, if you do this, and then somehow, like, you get 86 from all MGM properties... Oh, yeah, that would be dumb. That Then, yeah. then you'd be oh, like, man. you would need so much money, right? Poker like, players shouldn't no, do this. Maybe not yeah, nothing. Nah, right. Never. No, right, exactly. Because that, that's, that's probably the worst thing that could happen. Sure. So that knowing that none of us would actually do it because we can't get banned from MGM properties... I mean, Knowing that someone literally came in a pig mask, robbed the fucking Bellagio, and then left and still didn't get caught, like I think you might be a favorite to like just, just jump in mask. the fast. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he got shot yeah, and killed. Okay. <laughs> wait, so he did get wait, caught. One of the, wait, didn't one of them not get caught though? The Bellagio no. bandit. I mean, this guy. Oh, this guy. Uh, <laughs> Which robbed. one was the? Okay, so there's one with the pig mask, and there's one with the with the. The hell, not the blood. Yes, the yeah, helmet. The, the, the Blasio helmet. bandit yeah. ultimately went to jail. The one in the pig mask robbed the Blasio multiple times and then was shot and killed. Okay, well, oh. he went in for like multiple pops. Yeah, he got greedy. Yeah, he's, uh, he's wild. Always ends like that, huh? They he's both wild. got greedy. The Blasio bandit was literally staying at a Blasio suite after he robbed them. What? Yeah, look at this guy's wild. He got right shot here. and killed by he's police wild. or yeah. security? He got too comfortable. Police. Security, security doesn't. They don't have. They don't they pursue don't that guns. stuff. Right? I, I they might so. have guns, but they don't pursue robberies. Right. Oh, hold on, hold on. They're like instructed. You not just to. told me that the Blasio bandit was staying upstairs. Staying upstairs, gambling in their pits with the money that he stole. Oh my yeah. god, that guy's a fucking legend. <laughs> right there. We were playing all around town with him. He came to the pumps one day. We were playing like right. five, ten, twenty. He's just blowing lines of coke in the in the bathroom, coming out like all tweaked. Oh my god, <laughs> <Just> dusting <laughs> off. I tell you what, for that like two week stretch, those games were really good. So we do played, you think we, he was just a huge like <laughs> DJ? Massive. We played. 10 20 40 or uh 10 25 50 or whatever at the nugget yeah. it was like at the end of the night it was me lamana d gaff uh when was what year was this what the fuck was listen Berkey, <laughs> was in the mix. Berkey, 2012 listen, 2011 Berkey was staking me and okay. i wasn't very good at poker and he was buried <laughs> and he was buried and by like the end of that week like i i was out of makeup oh, up money yeah. Let's paying go. everybody back <laughs> <laughs> the end of the night, it was it was DJ Dgaff, me, Lamana, and the Blasio Bandit. Wow! And we're playing like five handed <laughs> crew. Yeah, mm-hmm. we're playing like five handed, uh, massive, whatever. And he's buried. He loses his last like five or ten k, whatever. And then he looks at me and Billy, and he asks us if we want to buy a cranberry for ten thousand. <laughs> And then you were like, oh. If I knew then what I know now, I would have snapped it up. Snap that shit. I would have snapped it up. Take that shit. I would have been able to wash that chip like that. You should have called me. You didn't know me yet. I would have found a way. Berkey would not do that because Berkey is very ethical. Yeah. That is true. Yeah, that, well, only because like, you were out of makeup. Right, at least that's what I told myself yeah. at the time. Only because yeah. you were out of makeup. I Otherwise, exact, you would have scooped that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I had the exact opposite reaction at the time. I was like, 
oh, what? That's stolen. <laughs> I mean, like, I've been paid out from the casino when I busted, like, playing blackjack and stuff like that multiple times. And, like, that's they kinda, come for you. That's kind of like the same thing. No, this is way worse. Wait, what? But Sam also, didn't come for me. <laughs> that's surprising. Usually they come for you. Like I've been overpaid do? at the cage before, and they just call you. Oh, they yeah, they oh, gave dude. you too so, much. They do. No, but they so, also they also like you can keep it, but you'll never get to play there again. So for me, it but, was like when I was playing blackjack. Literally, like I I would hit, get twenty two or something like that, and the dealer would pay me, oh, or the different. dealer would get twenty two, and the dealer oh. would pay me. Isn't that their mistake? So yeah, that, that's way different. So oh, Sands that, had just opened. Sands had just opened, and for like the first I don't know month, they were just paying like these dealers just. Yeah, you really got lucky. I fell for the fucking racket on the cruise ship where the guy was <laughs> fake paying me out on Ultimate Texas Hold'em whenever I was supposed to lose. And then I got robbed for... Not robbed. <laughs> they called you. They called it. No, no, no. I, I'm, I'm messing around, but like... They I, rigged it against him specifically. I thought I, I, thought I told this story. Yeah, you yeah. did. Yeah, you did. I didn't yeah. Uh, I was playing Ultimate Texas Hold'em on a cruise ship when I was uh, like on a wedding or whatever. And this guy's just like paying out over and over and over again on mistakes, like on chops, on losses. That's He's like just, where the biggest edge in UTH comes from. Yes, right? it's massive. Right, so, so, making his mistakes. Bank account. so I'm just like all in. I have like 10,000 on the table and I'm just rocketing as hard as I can. Was and this like a, what kind of cruise trip were you on? Like a friend, it was a wedding family cruise. trip? Okay. So, so like you, maybe were just, a carnival you were just going or hard on blackjack while, during a... I was bored. And don't they, yeah. st they don't, the rotation of the dealers wasn't like... I mean, I, this all happened in like a half hour. Oh, okay. Like I was betting small, like a hundred bucks a hand or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And he's just like making mistake so after mistake like, okay, after mistake. Okay. And I'm just like, yeah. uh, I'm going to need a marker. Let's pile in. And I can yeah. start going to like 1K <laughs> hand and never win a fucking hand again. <laughs> got your The whole ropey dope. Yeah, they really mm -hmm. got yeah. us. Yep. The fuck's this guy get out of it? International waters, maybe. Yeah, don't bait never like, let, him, let him think it. Let him yeah, think what, what's with the old bait? And then another, well, the other thing was another guy came in. Uh, and started playing whenever I started firing hard, and he just goes on the run of a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most, most miserable thing just ever. making <laughs> flushes, straights. I'm like, what the fuck is going so on here, man? So That's tilted. fucking great. They pay you, though. Like, on the cage, like, if, if they short you, like, they'll they'll call you and be like, hey. Yeah, like, but if they overpay you, they'll also call you and say, if you ever want to play, yeah. you're going to bring that yeah. fucking money back. That part is Sick. true. That part is true. I remember I got, I was at the win, and then I, like, gave them cash they gave me uh, i was like 500 short i went to play i didn't notice that i was 500 short and then like they came they're like hey how much did you give us and i was like i told them and they're like oh you're missing this and then there was like five blacks there. i was like oh that's nice of them i yeah. would i would never i would have for sure yeah. never got it like i was i was at venetian one time and they i think i was like buying chips off the dealer or something they gave me like an extra hundred i had no idea literally had no idea and then the next day i came back and they're like oh yeah we checked the tapes and uh and and you owe us a hundred dollars. I was like, <laughs> no. And they're funny. like, yeah. And I'm like, they're like, they're like, if you want to play, you have to pay. I was like, well, can I see the tapes? They're like, no, you can't. I'm yeah, like, I wonder. I'm just like, I wonder this hell? whole checking tapes. Bullshit. Yeah, and then I'm just like, <laughs> they're just like the drawers yeah, off. It like, looks like that guy probably. You know, got I have no idea, right? Whether whether uh, like, and I'm just like, well, they're not. I don't think they're gonna just scam me for a hundred dollars like that. So yeah. here's the hundred. Oh, sit down. <laughs> Matt Berkey owes me five. Just mm -hmm. came into the chat. <laughs> no, nah, he's been, he's in, the been chat. in there. He's been in the chat. Okay, okay, I didn't see him. I didn't see yeah. him. That's because you're yeah. supposed to run the show. I know, Unlimited. I <laughs> Unlimited. So, um, I'm not sure what the fuck these two guys were doing the other night, but man, I, they might have robbed the casino for all I know. This accident that I saw on Twitter oh. was absolutely absurd. I know what they were doing. They were street racing. They were yeah, street, they were street racing. racing. It is absurd. Yeah, it's street. like a seven car pileup. Craziest part about it is nobody died. Only one person got hurt. Honestly, it's a miracle. This is absurd. No pedestrians, nobody. They said there was, there was uh, debris like a quarter mile down the road. You ever been to a street race? Me, no. You weren't there like in, uh, in Edgewater where like they all used to meet up at the... I, I'm not a fan of racing. Oh, I'm not a fan okay, of okay, okay. people doing stupid things. Yeah. No, it was, like every, it was like every Thursday in Edgewater, we, they were... I don't want to say we, but like I would go a lot. And it was uh, by the Edgewater Commons. Everybody meets at the Starbucks. It was like tons of race cars. Then they would negotiate, uh, you know, how much is the bet or whatever. And then they, they would just like race down the Edgewater, Edgewater Road. That's probably a good road to do it. Too. Yeah, yeah. So and it, was, it was pretty. I mean, it was fun to watch, like to be a part of it. Like I was like, damn, these are, I, yo, they play high stakes, man. Yeah, I mean, I'm, yeah. not a, I'm not They're a fan lives. of all that shit. 
Everybody just do the goddamn speed limit, you know. I like <laughs> you, you know for real. When it comes down, what are you looking at me for? You don't drive the speed limit, man. Shut okay, yeah, but, but within anybody reason. that's ever been in the car with me right. knows I'm a You're very five normal over driver. five under. Yeah, yeah, driver. yeah. Mm -hmm. These people were do they were doing what like 100? 120, 120 I think. in uh, whatever that is. Where they're going to stop lights every like 500 exactly. feet. Yeah, so that's how yeah. the accident every happened. Mile. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's how the accident happened. They ran through a stoplight. Yeah, they live their life one quarter mile at a time. <laughs> no, it's fun. Jesus Christ. Honestly, it's like no, you say that, but like <laughs> family. <laughs> Like it's almost like it was like a running joke with Michelle and I. She would like always say we'd hear outside our house just like a car go screaming by. She'd be like, "Sounds like it's like the Fast and the Furious out there." Corey. And then like literally, this is like a real life version of that. Corey and then just you said see the consequences. Yeah, Corey just said he drives the speed limit, but he doesn't look at the road, which is true. <laughs> it's true. You're I, also high as fuck. That's so very it's true. Like, no, yeah. he drives. No, nope, nope, he drives. No. Incorrect. But he doesn't look at the road. He's usually like changing the song or I, dancing. I, I, I don't or look at the road. That is. Twitter. Remember when you and I saw a dead body? Huh? On the road? Yeah. Y'all want to see a dead body? You just left it there? Wait, we saw a dead body. Coming back from pickleball? You just left the... You saw... You was that not you by a dead body? Oh, no, it was me and Landon. It was you me and Landon. You drove by a dead body? Yeah. What Landon, do you mean? You Landon's didn't probably stop? probably got scared. Uh, you, didn't, you didn't call police or anything? I told Landon not to look. <laughs> he was in, he, no, there no, was there just were, one laying there? There were people on scene. Oh, okay. Uh, it, was, it was right outside Sunset Park. Uh, there's like a, a left you take to get back on Sunset. From, um, so right in front of the 7-Eleven? Yep, right okay. in front of the 7-Eleven. Uh, we're like rolling up and there's a police scene there. They don't even have it like taped off or anything. Like there were two or three cop cars there and people were like walking in the scene, but no caution tape or anything like that. And we're just drive by slow and there's this body just sprawled out in the middle of the oh, road. Oh no. Jesus. Shoes are like oh, no. 20 like yards got away. Oh no, ejected from the car. No, uh, looked like it was a homeless guy, like, <gasps> like no shirt on. Oh no. Like walking across the street, just got blitzed. Oh my God. It was freaky. I, yeah. I, I look. That's absurd. And I go, oh my God. Oh, Wait. My, oh my god, that's a dead body. And Lenny goes, What? I go, Don't look. <laughs> I, 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 like, don't look. Lenny's like this. <laughs> oh my what, god. What you got, Chin? I want to talk about, like, can we change the subject? Are we done with the Yeah, 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 yeah. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Right. Can we talk about Lindsay and this guy that flew to go see her and all that stuff? Yeah. Like, you guys saw read, it, right? Read the tweet. So, all right, the, right, the you, you know, already started about. some shit. No, I'm just saying, like, this was a kind of like a thing, right? Like, like, she, okay, so this is uh, Lindsay is rad, right? You guys know what I'm talking about, yeah, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. cool, but cool, cool. Just for the listener. All right, so for the listener, she, th she tweets this uh, yesterday. Met a guy Saturday, hit it off, spent a few days hanging. He flew back to Newport. I said yesterday, I hope I get to see you soon. He booked a flight and will now be at my house in 30 minutes. And this thing got 443 likes, mm -hmm. 10 retweets, and everyone was just like, Oh, my man just really needs that pussy. Yeah. Like, like, and then everyone was like, so the, the jury was out, like whether yeah. like my man was like really desperate for the, for, you know, for the pound game or, <laughs> or if he like really likes her or whatever. Right. So then, you know, among us, we were like chatting, had our own opinions and now she posted an update. Oh, what's update. So I'll go to the update and she goes, Oh, she posted damn two updates. Oh, what shit. the fuck? She posted one one that minute ago. Good. Oh, she breaking goes, news. She goes, breaking update. News. She's dehydrated. <laughs> she goes, update. I'm alive. He flew home this morning. Oh. He got the, uh, and I guess this is one of her friends, uh, stamp of approval. Jury still out for, from Jamie Kersiter and Caitlin Kaminsky. And then immediately, like as if she was like pretty much watching this podcast, she goes, for those new here, I'll just say it quickly. I already have a primary partner. What the fuck? Oh, what's going on? Yo, this is crazy. Okay, so there's... <laughs> Wait, what? Wait. Okay. So this is the... This Don't yuck her yum. No, Yo, this is the discount double check on the fly. Like, she's... Oh, my God. Well, there is no double check if she... Yes. Yeah. Maybe this new connection will become secondary. I don't know, okay. but life is too short not to explore connections and see where they go. Experience your life out of the box and see just what happens. This is the discount double Poly check, Rex. a public discount double no, check. No, no, this is the exact opposite of that, <laughs> yeah, Christian. This is everything poly, you're so doing it's... on the low. I'm not doing yeah. anything on the low. Oh. She's just doing it. <laughs> I text Chin last night. I go, stop, yo, stop. I go, yo, there's a, there's a stop. fire game going on. He's like, I'm drunk. <laughs> I was drunk. I was drunk. Uh, uh, he's like, my response was, how drunk? Yeah, how drunk? He's like, damn, is that good? <laughs> <laughs> I was a little drunk yesterday. Uh, but uh, I'm definitely how gonna, crazy is this, though? I'm okay, so let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Well, it's different that if she's, if 
it changes the context to her being Polly. All right, I didn't know that. It. I didn't know that. Yeah. I don't think the context changes at all. Oh. All I'm hearing is that she is a magical human being and people are at her beck and call. Yeah. And for that, <laughs> Lindsay, I applaud you. Props. That was yeah. strong. Yeah, I mean, that was I really mean, strong. I mean, that's like you got, you basically got DoorDash dick. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what more could you want? I wish I could do that. <laughs> DoorDash dick. Oh, the triple D. You think there's a service oh charge to that? Oh my god. Um, I don't know. Like an extra Probably. $3.84. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> don't forget to tip your driver. Yeah, you gotta tip them, you know. Dornastic, right. you heard it here first. <laughs> Oh, it looks like we found the new name for the community. <laughs> the DoorDash <laughs> Dicks. <laughs> That's Stanley Tang, crazy. can you sign off no. on this, please? That's crazy. That is crazy. Oh, wild, man. wild shit. All right, it's I mean, rough out there. Shout you know, out to you Lindsay. Gotta, I'm a huge if fan. I've never actually met her. you someone who will deliver their Lindsay's dick to awesome. you, like, God bless. I just like that she's updating this entire situation. It's great. Like, it's so cool. Yeah, like, when you put a viral tweet out, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta keep up. the... You, you now have a community that is invested. Mm -hmm. Sure. That's, I, I'm... This is like the tap tap thread. Only you know it's the tap tap thread. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know uh, what happens here. I need to I know. I just need to know when will the dick option be on DoorDash? <laughs> Stanley. That's crazy. Somebody At order eggplant. <laughs> Somebody order eggplant. <laughs> Move it on. Move it on. Mm. Berkey, congratulations. Yeah. For what? You're starting your new career. One. At Chicken and Pickle. Mm. What is this? I what keep chicken and fucking this pickle, baby. I, I thought you were gonna bring up that. This uh, is like a fried chicken, please. I, I thought you were gonna bring up that I replied to Sean McCormick in, in, inquiring about the. Uh, that was funny. The, I laughed for a minute. I wasn't being, I wasn't being, uh, not sincere. <laughs> I was like, Berkey's so done. I'm like, yo, corporate job? What's this pay? I just I looked at the ad like four times to figure out what the base pay was. Like, if I can make half of what I'm making now, I think I'm in. <laughs> So Take like, a steady paycheck. Are we talking about this year or last year? Uh, you can make half of what you made this year or half of what you made last year? Well, half year? of what I made this year would still just be zero. Right? <laughs> that, that, my point. That, that, would be, that would be too great. I, I've basically been retired this entire... Maybe unemployed? Fun, unemployed? Fun, fun employed. Fun employed. I've been fun employed. Congratulations on your fun employment. No, no. It's not the way oh, that people... No? You get very tight. Yeah. Like you start to watch the number dip every yeah. single day and then the markets crash and it dips like a lot and you're just like, hmm. But <laughs> I need to do something with my life. But you see, that's why Chicken and Pickle's opening. Yeah. Chicken and Pickle's where you can go, Burke. I will say... How's it going to make money there? Uh, well, I'm going to become a professional pickleballer, obviously. Oh, He's going to start actually. hustling like uh, golf or something. The best in the world are making upwards of 30000 a year, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, you're going to get smoked oh, by like an 11-year-old girl. Uh, I get smoked by a 14-year-old girl yeah. every single day. Every week. single day yeah. she smokes his head. Yeah. <laughs> I sponsor her. Yeah. <laughs> Do you? Smart yeah. man. Oh, that's awesome. Um, I will say I played probably the best three hours of pickleball I've ever played in my life last night. I watched right. a video. You watched the video. For everybody who got, doesn't think training videos, up. listen, for everybody who thinks training videos are nonsense, uh, you know, maybe I'm always speaking to the learning types like myself, but like I'm very much a sponge like type learner. So audio, video type of, of learner, mm -hmm. very, very good for me. I watched, uh, I watched some, they're, they're not actually training videos, but like there's a lot of pickleball content out there by the pros because, yeah. you know, the best in the world are making upwards of 30,000 a year. True. So they're trying to. <laughs> get on the social media train and they they do like a lot of like tips and tricks it's it's a very hot oh. youtube space cool i grinded you know 45 minutes of some tips and tricks and then i watched uh i watched about an hour of a pro match wow i was a solid four or five last night yeah i was out of my mind do you think we can get anybody to um second that yeah tammy will back me tammy will back you wow. you know i She's definitely a credible source. Yeah, she we, is, because me and Tammy have these conversations, but the only problem is Berkey can't be in the room. We beat... Uh, no, that's, <laughs> I get it. That's you, very fair. Also, it, I can't be in the room because Conrad will try to one-up me, having played 12 hours of pickleball in his life. <laughs> I might have played 12 hours. Still better than you. Um, but, we beat a team that... that <laughs> significant... I, I'm rushing over that. We beat a team that is for sure qualified four fives themselves. Right. Ooh. Congrats. They might have been tanking a little That's, bit, but you know, yeah. <laughs> we're putting in work. All right. Well, congrats. Congrats on your, so, your so um, this, pivot. So this, this um, complex, it's, it's, it's going to be like restaurant, a restaurant, sports bar, 
and a bunch of pickleball courts. Uh, it seems like a brewery sounds, kind of. I don't know. It seems like they know fun. their market. Sounds fun. Might, you might uh, get me to the pickleball court. I don't. I, I really don't understand it, to be quite honest. Uh, so there's a few things I don't get. Number one, if you're going to do this, why isn't it on the strip? Because it seems like it appeals to like sort of combining sport and well, nightlife. We know, we know to why. Lo- Pickleball is like a locals thing. Yeah, like yeah. we know why it would the be price? on the strip. Price is of yeah. where it is. It's in Henderson. Yeah. Okay, so that's Real the other estate. thing. It's in Henderson, which is also where Sunset Park is, which has 26 courts. Mm-hmm. Why am I going to this three-court mm. place? Because there's food, there's uh, entertainment, there's going to be music. It's going to be pretty cool. So listen, in North Carolina, where I used to live, um, there was this place called Dig and Dive, and it was a volleyball spot. We had a whole bunch of fucking volleyball courts and a bar and like food or whatever. That place was fucking awesome like it was just like the coolest hangout you know you can just go play some volleyball hang out i think this is going to be kind of like the it's same similar, thing right i think i think it's not just pickleball there's like you know cornhole all kinds yeah, of I different kinds of things, things. things. So it's like, i feel like it only appeals to yeah. people like me that are socially inept and actually are looking forward to getting sweaty <laughs> when in a group of people like who the fuck is like all yeah. right let's go out tonight yeah let's go check out like uh chicken and pickle okay cool gym attire I know, that's the thing. It's like, 106 I'm, degrees if outside I'm going out like i don't want to fucking like play like a sport like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. is there a pool there guabo is that part of it that'd be interesting no it doesn't, it doesn't look like it okay yeah. so like at least a third of the year it's 106 degrees outside these courts are outdoors yeah, yeah. W- what's their business look like it seems like they're not going to be using it for three months of the year <laughs> I mean, look, if they stay open past 11 p.m., I'm there. They're it's not just, staying open for 11 Well, that's what they have to do in the summer. They, 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 honestly, they're, I promise you, this is no nine. joke. If, chicken and pickle, if you're listening, uh, I am for hire. The, the, <laughs> the highest money-making <laughs> hours waiters? that they will have will be from 11 p.m. till 2 a.m. Yep. And, and honestly, because we'll all leave sunset. It's a very short drive, and we'll go get food. And continue to play. I, I mean, there's a lot of places that, that stay, stay open 24 hours. I mean, I'm, I don't think they would do that, but like... I think them staying up until 2 a.m. is very reasonable. So, like, in the summer, I could see them, like, starting late, like, opening at 6 or 5 mm-hmm. or something like that. And honestly, I think they might, you know, take a lot of business from Sunset. And once people start moving somewhere where it's fun to play, like, you can do other things while playing, you know. Yeah. Do they sell gonna, liquor? I, it's chicken and pickles. I mean, why wouldn't they, right? I yeah, assume. Oh, yeah. I yeah. Assume no, it's a bar. It's a sports bar, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah, it's like, I, I assume it's a sports bar type thing. So, you, you know, you play, play a few games of pickleball. Work up an appetite, sit down, have a, have a couple beers. That's what I mean. And, uh, like, oftentimes, afterwards. oftentimes, especially on the weekends, we're still looking to play after 11. Mm-hmm. Oh, and the every, lights go off, And right? everybody's hungry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the lights go off. Uh, so the only, the only reason this makes sense to be in close proximity to sunset is to gra- gather that group once the lights go out at 11. Yeah. But, like, doesn't look like a promising business model. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. Not in Vegas. We'll see. We'll see. Time place. will tell. Blowing up. It's a ma- matter of time before these places. I'm waiting pop for up. the basketball team to get here. That's well, what I'm waiting for. You saw yesterday's episode, right? Yeah, that's all. Motherfucker, you ain't watch yesterday's episode. I can tell I by gave your voice. You the- <laughs> <laughs> no, I gave you the, the- nah, So you saw the all net fucking results? I gave it to you. <laughs> yeah, listen, I showed man. you that. <laughs> listen, man, Lo- Las Vegas locally showed me that, all right? Yeah, and forwarded I forwarded it to you. It to you. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. I'm, I'm pretty excited. Who do you? So somebody it's actually seven got, billion dollar arena. Yeah. Like that think? has to be an NBA team. There's they would never fire that much money unless an ABA team, an NBA team is coming. So they said what they what they said was yes, they want an NBA team or something along those lines. But and boxing matches, but they're looking to get all types of professional sports like. Right, but that's the same as like every other uh, arena, like Madison Square or Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. Like they all start like they they open it up to a bunch of other things. But generally, their main money maker is going to be the 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 National Basketball. Yeah, I agree with you. But the question is, especially with no casino. Yeah, Mm -hmm. the question is, where do um where do they grab this team from? I don't know. I mean. That's the thing, like the the team that you know everyone wants the Seattle team to come back. I don't know if it's gonna come back. Well, but how then, does this work? They buy a team from another state. Why don't you they can just start a their, new team, or a, or one team moves. Well, from there's one a big difference there. Yeah. Yeah. The whole yeah. league ownership has to agree upon expansion. Yes. Yeah. Whereas, mm-hmm. like a, a team moving, I think it just needs a simple oh, okay. majority. Okay, so it's just right. more. It's easier to get a team to move. Yeah, yeah. much easier to get. But a it's team more expensive, move. probably. Right. Yeah. But maybe because you have to pay the city as well that you're leaving. Correct. Speaking of that, the Rams just I think. The Rams were in a lawsuit with St. Louis, mm-hmm. and I think they ended up paying like 
um, the city of St. Louis like three hundred and twenty million dollars. A lot of money, whatever it was. Yeah. Yeah. So it was something crazy. Mm-hmm. And LeBron is looking. He's like, that's where he wants to start his team. He's like, okay, I would like a team. In Vegas. I want a team. Someone in the chat yesterday said that there's no gaming because of something with the NBA, where like you can't have. Oh, that that would make sense. You, like they some can't some, have gaming on the sa- on the property of where the NBA yeah. would be playing. Or that's only gonna last for a couple more years. I, mean, I don't know. I would love to see a, uh, a national basketball team. No, I agree for sure, 100%. Um, Another I saw some, team? I saw somebody say the Sacramento Kings. That would be a great move for the Sacramento Kings. I don't know how like their numbers are doing out there, but... <laughs> they Their I, fan base the is, is not the Kings. same as it used to be. When, also, like, man, just what they would stay, save in state tax alone. Mm-hmm. Getting out of Cali. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the thing is that their owners... Like being the poor team in Cali is not... Their owners that are so sound great. rich. Their owners isn't I mean, Vladdy one of their. Owners? They don't have to give up ownership. No, no, I'm saying their owners are so rich that maybe they just like their team there. But, but yeah, I mean that would be a great move. I would love to see either Oklahoma City leave Oklahoma, uh, or and come to Vegas, or Sacramento come to Vegas. That'll be both of them seem pretty cool. Yeah. All I know is that if we get another team, I need to buy a house here because that property. Yeah, rent go it up. to us because mm-hmm. we're gonna be homeless. I don't know if it's possible for property to go up. I think people are yeah, people are at this point. people are uh, ex, not expecting, but they're projecting that property prices will stay flat because of these uh, potential projections of an NBA, NBA team and stuff like that coming in. But I don't know, man. We're about to hit a recession. We're out of fucking water here. It's a goddamn <laughs> desert. <Yeah. like. laughs> I, we're out of water. Man. I don't see the water we do have is, has amoebas in it. Yeah, I mean, it's not like oh this is New York God, City where right. we have to start building upwards. You know, there's still a lot of space. That's amoebas. the thing. Yeah, there's a lot of space here still. Even though, like, every time all the new houses are literally by the edge of of the city, like you like literally are like yeah. looking up at a mountain. By yeah. the time you're, it's creepy when you fly over it because you see how actually like vast and empty it is around us. Yeah. Like yeah. we're just this like hub of buildings, and then like it's like we're f- after that we're just done. We're, like, we're like, done. Like, if we didn't have cars yeah. or like there's like an apocalypse, what are we gonna do? Walk through the desert for miles? <laughs> They're what starting do do? to build up onto the mountains now. I think we need like, to formulate a plan here. Chincha. Just in case. Chincha. <laughs> Helicopters. We'll helicopter out. Well, Chin has a place in the DR. I guess we could go there. I do have a place in the DR. You guys are all welcome. Yeah. It's really nice. We, we need a there. line. We need a line from here to. We need uh, a line. <laughs> from from like here to LA. Okay, so let's do that. Yeah. Tortoise and I will be get on that building a yep. high speed rail from here to the Dominican mm-hmm. Republic. It will be underground, underwater, under it's the ocean. The best, I mean, it seems like they could build the line between here and LA. Elon was already playing yeah. around with the tunnels. I wish yeah. they right. would. It's true. That'd be pretty cool. Pretty Elon dope. needs to just hire my people from fucking the cartel. That tunnel be done. <laughs> <laughs> All this shit like technology and fucking up. Bro, listen, I got some people down there that fix this shit. Yeah. shit. This should be done in a month. They're machines. Easy. Chin has El Chapo back, back home. Just like Listen, don't start chilling, talking people's chilling. names. They're just people that we know. <laughs> trying to get people in trouble out here. Like, to, listen, you a snitch. <laughs> Yeah, I was looking at the internet and I was like, yo. You've been doing that a lot. I have, I have. I yeah. look at the internet a lot. He's using on I the do. internet a lot. I do, I do, I do. But um, I saw what you've been doing recently. What the Ooh. fuck? <laughs> now you snitching. Now you snitching. Uh, wow. I, mean, I saw it. Like, I just popped up on my feed. Like, yo, what, my search, what, what are you about to say, bro? What are you so, about to say? So you skipped the podcast to do this shit yesterday? Do what shit? What is this? You can't bring it back. You already, oh, you already you gotta bring it back. <laughs> what is this? What is happening? What is happening? This is a Conrad joke. Look, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna help you out a little bit with the with the hosting gig. Like the co- the what, Conrad once a joke, joke is dead, it's so just I was looking dead. at the internet. Wait, hold on. We didn't even get to <laughs> oh, the what joke. was that? Someone popped up. with back. Yes, that's the funny part. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, he's saying that's Berkey, and that's what he's been doing. It looks yeah, right. But that's not the only thing that I saw. You know, it's a bad joke when the dad joke guy goes, yeah, uh, right. <laughs> that's not the only thing I saw out there. It's a bald there. head that looks like an egg. It's not the only thing I saw out there. I found out why Andre isn't here today. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Oh, you, you I found everybody. out why Andre is not here today. Everyone duck and cut her. What, what is this? He's out there playing hopscotch, it seems. That's an <laughs> understand. You think that looks like Andre? <laughs> Yo, you took an edible. 
Yeah, did I you think t- he got super high this you morning. You took an edible for at sure, like 5 bro. a.m. when he woke up and was like, what this is going to be a hit. <laughs> the edible just hit for sure, bro. Yo, I mean, you timed this shit. that's why Andre's not here today. He's out there playing house scots with buckets of water. And his buckets of water in his oh, head. my God, bro. I want to backtrack on something that I said the other day. Um <laughs> I think it was like last week or something. A lot Backtrack of people. on the last five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> it happens. Um, so a lot of people DM'd me. It's about the Watuga card house in Texas. Okay. The reason why it was raided wasn't because of poker. It was because they thought there was slot machines inside. inside mm. Okay. Which they did not find. So it's like standard. Uh, wait. But they took stuff anyway? Yeah, they, didn't all the patrons get fined? And- yep. Everybody, but there wasn't anything there. Wasn't anything there, but everybody still got roped up. The they, they used the slot for? machine as a way to get in. Didn't find the same as all the other private shit. Like when shit gets raided in New York, it's because they think there's drugs, prostitution, or guns, or, or never, illegal it's gambling. It's never that. Yeah. It's never the poker. It's right. always some some adjacent thing. I mean, mm. it seems like it could just be the poker, and they say it's an adjacent yeah. thing. Nah. Yeah. That's they They've obviously been giving these card houses yeah. a lot of trouble. Generally, what happens is someone loses, they they get mad or some shit. They hit up the cops and they're like, "Yo, they got bitches in there." And then, <laughs> that's amazing. And then, and then like that's what happens. Amazing. Mm. Well, they should start an OnlyFans an OnlyFans front to uh, to ensure that there's legalities. You yeah. know, yeah. cops come sure. barging in and be like, "Yo, hold up, man, it's we're only, just creating they're, content." They're creators, okay? They are creators. Hey, listen, creators. They I'm, are. I'm not against any of it. I'm interested to see if these I'm people get up. their money back or is it like civil for- forfeiture or what happens there? It's, they ain't getting their money back. Yeah, the right. civil forfeiture laws are like so bad for uh, everything. The, the, the Anybody who's civilian. A, bro, yeah. I am. That shit is such, such bull. You spend more than you lose. Like, What's, unless they take a, a massive sum of money, you're going to end up spending more than you actually got seized in lawyer fees and things like that. And then also, even if you're able to win the case and get it recouped, uh, the way that I understand it is this like forfeiture money goes into basically like a, a kitty and the precincts are allowed to like spend it at their own free will, really will until, we, until it's yeah, gone. We talked about this uh, a few days ago, but I, I, there, it just came out that the, the cops have seized more money than there were burglaries in like amount of like value in burglaries yeah. in the, for the last year. That's it, wild. It, yeah. Right. It's just like, <laughs> such an insane. Yeah. Number. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. It's really scary. Yeah, yeah I mean, if you're going to, like, illegally search and seize, at least stop pulling me over for fucking tickets. <laughs> Let me live my life, man. You, you, know? s- you see what happens when you do um, 120, right? I don't know what you're talking about. You, I don't drive you, that fast. Right. I go 80 Listen. and a 65, and they clip me on it. Oh, you got to keep it at 79. <laughs> The, tor- you, the yeah. tortoise will teach you, man. Right. You we, do, we, we, do need, we do need, like, you know, you know, some things I would like to have on the podcast is like Harala Bob for basketball. Yeah. But I would also like someone that talks about this. Like, what, what, would, what would be our best options if well, we I got f- pulled over with like 100,000 and now they're like hmm. trying to take our I money? Got, I got this. I have a friend who, I have, I have a friend who uh, <laughs> actually watches quite frequently she uh, she has offered her legal services to us anytime we want oh, to call cool. oh, well, so awesome. we have awesome. a therapist on call we have a Who's legal the therapist nicole oh okay right. we have a legal person on call and then we can astrologist, see astrologist. We'll, we'll have to get matthew and then her Har- bob for sport yeah Har- bob wants to be a part of a weekly show he's made that abundantly clear that's true yeah. I mean, we could just you know have we have a, i mean i would love to we like, could definitely have a basketball i watch segment. basketball come on on a lot that'd love be to, pretty dope come on in um yeah, I would be. I would be curious because it's always one of those where it's like, what what, what happens in this spot? Like, right. if I just if they just like take all the money I have now, what do I do? Like, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, there's like <laughs> not the a lot do you I do? can do about you, it. Uh, have you ever read Gina Fiore's story of what happened to her with regard to search and seizure? Was it in Bahamas? Yeah, I read it. Yeah, yeah. So she was a she was an edge gambler. Uh, was in the Bahamas playing blackjack or something like that. I believe she was with her significant other at the time who also was an edge gambler. And they I think they got stopped in Atlanta mm-hmm. uh, coming out of the Bahamas. Uh, they had declared or whatever and basically had like 150 or 175K seized. I- I'm obviously going to miss a ton of details in the story. Yeah. It's been a long time since I read it. But uh, it's a really fascinating story. And it took her, I don't know, the better part of a decade to recover decade? it. And probably what, another 150K? Uh, I can't imagine she got much of like much of the profit back yeah wow that's wild i mean that's wild yeah talking about lawsuits um <laughs> it's kanye. so fucking funny whenever you're I was about watching, to do I was reading the internet <laughs> kanye 
Kanye, Kanye, Fucking Kanye. Kanye. What's he doing now? It seems like the lawyers for George Floyd's family are t- filing a $250 million case against Kanye West after he suggested that the Minnesota police were not responsible for his death. I mean, I don't know much about this, but what I do know is we were just talking about Alex Jones yesterday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was a $975 yeah. million. Dollars. Well, I want, yeah, I wonder if this I is going to empower similar. or embolden other like victims, families and stuff to come after people like Kanye. So like this is Alex similar, Jones. right? Yeah, like, yeah this, it is similar. Like, I thought about that too. Like, what do we think here? Like, do we think like... Is this like a real like case? Do you think like they, they have so, a chance or something like yeah, this? Yeah, I don't know. I know like the with the Sandy Hook thing, like there were like literally people showing up like at these people's yeah. house, harassing it's also, them, like, threatening it's them. That the families right. are like making it up, right? It which wasn't. Is, it is wasn't different. like yeah, like with with the Alex Jones thing, it wasn't just like it was like oh our feelings are hurt because he's saying this didn't happen. Yeah. There were like actual consequences from his from his words, right? Which. Mm-hmm. That's when I think you cross the line of uh, uh, free speech, right? When when people, you know, people's uh, safety is is threatened. Um, I'm not. I don't know. I don't know the story with Kanye, so I don't. I don't know exactly what he said or or how. You know how he bad was it just, was. He was just saying that the Minnesota police was not at responsible for yeah. George Floyd's death. I mean, so like, that's that just sounds like an opinion. If if he said, you know, that's his opinion, he shouldn't be able to get sued yeah. over it. Yeah, but maybe. but I don't know what, what maybe there were. There, there were other pieces of like the, the story. Like the Sandy Hook thing, I understand the defamation aspect mm-hmm. of it because they're they are defaming the families by saying that they were like making it up. Yes, that they're, you right. know, part of a conspiracy of, yeah. or whatever. I don't even think it's that though, because I I mean to to a large degree, this is a highly publicized story, and uh, you know people speaking on it isn't isn't that big of a deal. I think the reason why Alex Jones was specifically targeted in this defamation suit is because he he like weaponized an entire community uh Correct. within this this conspiracy theory, Correct. Mm. right 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 yeah and it turned into this like actual attack upon victims Correct. right, right. Mm-hmm. way different like yes I, I mean you know i i don't agree with kanye whatever his opinion may be honestly no matter Ever. what I probably, <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. literally like yeah. if he tells me the sky's blue i probably disagree but uh, <laughs> that aside it's obviously in poor taste but i think there's a huge difference between poor taste and defamation yeah. yes. yes and it's you know if if he wasn't a billionaire we're not talking about this because he's never getting sued and even still like this is just whatever like uh do what you got to do and your lawyer see an opportunity, but like it's almost certain that this is going to be a six-figure settlement for uh, the George Floyd camp mm-hmm. yeah. over something that like should never, ever, ever be a lawsuit. Maybe. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> I'm curious if this little video here from of Kanye is going to either help or hurt his case because you know this is going around the internet uh-uh. that you watch the internet. The thing yeah. about it being Adidas on the internet. is like this. I could literally say anti-Semitic shit and they can't drop me. I could say anti-Semitic things and Adidas can't drop me. Now what? Now, the thing about it being... So, Kanye thinks he can do whatever the fuck he wants. He yeah, doesn't dude. know who runs this world, huh? Mm-hmm. Rothschild and stuff like that. <laughs> like, Rothschild? I, think he, I have a feeling he knows who runs this world. He might. He, might. <laughs> he is a billionaire, so. The, the man said he can say whatever he wants and Adidas can't drop him. Why can't yeah. they drop him? Well, they've he's just profited too much. Deal. He's just that big. He kind of brought Adidas back to life. Yeah. Uh, Adidas was struggling massive and then. Shout out uh, Adidas. And, yeah. And now Adidas <laughs> is like doing pretty well with the Yeezys and like the Boost. Which are inspired sort of by the youth. Yeah. No, they they literally copied. Yeah, these. well, I'm saying like, that's their that's their two biggest the knockoff. Uh, well, it's just a. It's the same model. It's the same. It's a similar the shoe. The economic version. As right. Kanye started to act up, they started to make their shoe mm. very similar, mm-hmm. basically. Yeah, that's, that's what it seems like is go- going on here. Just in case they're, they're yeah. trying to create a separation. Yeah, but I you don't know. know what Kanye's. Kanye's about the toxicity, yeah. you know. Well, he's just. But Adidas yeah. was struggling. They were struggling massive. Like they similar, were. similar to Under Armour when they signed Steph, Steph they yep. increased their their the overall market cap of, of their company was no, there's 4x. A, uh, 
I don't, I don't, I never, I never followed up to see what the end result was, but there's a huge scandal within Under Armour. They cooked the books for like the better part of three years. No so, way. Oh yeah. We should talk about that on Monday. Yeah. Well, yeah. we should look into that because they just gave, um, Steph a billion yeah, dollar a lifetime lot. contract. When, when did Steph they, actually has equity in the company. When did they sign say, Steph? Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So this is like 20, let's see. My back was fucked up. I was going to the chiropractor. So it was like 2020, I think <laughs> that I heard this story. So I think it was like 2018, 2019, they were cooking the books. Interesting to look at. Uh, whenever they went public. Okay. Right around then. Yeah, they gave them a piece of the company too. Hmm. So I mean, was... obviously they survived. Yeah. Like they're still huge, but um, a big reason why they're known according to the story that I was listening to. I, I think it was The Guardian that was reporting it. Uh, it was a podcast I was listening to, but a big reason why they became such a big player in the apparel and shoe industry was because they were cooking the books. So it made it look like they were bigger than they right, were. And they, they were able to, to raise a lot more funds and, uh, you know, go after these elite athletes like the rock Phelps, mm -hmm. uh, Steph, et cetera. Everything and, else is caught up. Yeah. And eventually, I mean, the company's built like out of these two guys from Maryland, like college park that just decided they didn't like Nike anymore and we're going to do it better or do it different. Yeah. The Nike, the whole Nike, uh, they're a little cocky with their fucking pitches. Like they got Steph's name wrong. That's why Steph was like, I'm yep, out. Yep. They the, called him like Stefan or, Ste or Stefan or some something shit. Something happened like, that he didn't like. And he's and like, he's what like, the fuck? fuck? You don't even know my name. And he's yep. gone. He was like, see ya. And then there was like another one. I don't know who it was where like they literally gave the same exact pitch to two different players. Mm -hmm. And it was like, oh, I yeah. think it was KD. And then, like, at the end, they were like, thank you, KD. Like, oh, and I was no. like, what? <laughs> Come on. Oh, like, no. bro, well, that's crazy. But anyway, yeah, man, I'm happy. Uh, I'm glad you did a great job today, bro. Well, like I'm saying, you did a great job hosting. Who said we were done? <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know. I saw but, Guapo text us telling us it's been two hours. I thought we were oh, wrapping Oh, shit. Up. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's about time that you learn how to dress yourself properly, Chip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Upgrade your wardrobe. <laughs> yeah, shit. Fix that collar. Fix that collar. <laughs> listen, bro. Upgrade I'm your not wardrobe. putting up with this bullshit. Upgrade like, your wardrobe. I already. Listen, shut the fuck today. up. <laughs> I'm not putting up with <laughs> one from wardrobe. here, one from here. Like, well, go ahead. Tell me. All tell right, me. Can, tell can, me how classic is gonna mm -hmm. change my life. Go ahead. Upgrade your wardrobe with True Classic <laughs> today at TrueClassic.com. You can get 25% off using code OnlyFriends. Stay classy with True Classic. Fix, the, fix that neck collar you got. <laughs> Listen, how about you stay classy and keep going with this classy? <laughs> you know, I was going to get into some toxic tweets and stuff like that, but, you know, we are at two hours, so I just want I'm going to skip that. We're going to go to that Monday. We're going to go into... I like Monday's show so far. We have we can't Steph. can't close the show and then keep going. It kills the viewers. It really does. Well, who's closing the show? <laughs> I wasn't closing the show. Well... I wasn't close enough. What was that then? The mid every ad nerd? That was mid? We're yeah, going to another two that's hours? The mid -roll. That was oh, the mid -roll. oh my god. Yeah. That was well, the mid-roll. Well, you've already made down. it seem like we're closing is this the, the 200 show. episode show. No, or? Chin made it seem like he's just we're closing that's, the show. As soon as you say that, people this. start oh, leaving. Oh my bad. I, thought, I, thought, I didn't know. I thought the, I don't know. My bad. So I saw on Twitter, because you know oh, I we was, are going I was into looking it. at okay. the internet. I thought we were saving this for Monday. No, no, not that one. Different one. There was a video of um, a bunch of people in Bobby's room yesterday singing a Beatles song. Mm -hmm. This is actually great. It, it's, it's a rendition, if you will. A rendition. Mm -hmm. yeah. Freddy, there you go. Freddy. I love it, I love it, I love it. One more time. One more time. There you go. I love it. Freddy D, bro, Freddy D. Good job, good job. I, I don't I know the it. rest of the song, but Freddy D. Wow, two games. <laughs> Who's happier than Emma? I mean, that's, that was great. This seems like a fucking great time. I know. That seems like a great time. Like, there's such a big difference between like low stakes and high stakes. Like, you don't see that shit. You know, two five, five ten game. Like, everybody's just like, 
Everyone's like, cutting yeah. their teeth. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. Everybody's They're having a good grinding. time. The grind. They're out there grinding. These, these, I'm not here to make Everyone friends. in that room rich and... We're here to make no $50 worries. an hour. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's two people in those rooms. They're either really rich or really stuck in makeup. <laughs> That's true, too. <laughs> there is that no... Is either you're just like... Either way, you're just yeah. like, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like... There's nothing else. That's, that's probably true. That's probably true. I, w- I will say the majority of the time that I spent in uh, behind those glass doors, I, I would say 80% of it was just shitting on one another. Hmm. And 20% of it was attempting to suck out. <laughs> <laughs> you spend so much more time strategizing the next witty mark remark yeah. that you're going to come up with. That's actually like, like my experience in playing with the semi-private game, ex- at least. That yeah. it was very much... I actually have trouble when I start to like become friends with the people I'm playing with. Mm. I'm so much feel like I play me- much better against people I I don't I feel neutral about. Like <laughs> it's funny the people that I'm the the hardest on, like the people that I go at the hardest verbally at the table, seem to be the ones that like me the most. Yeah, like, well, that's like Oaken, I I shit on Oaken so hard <laughs> every time that I see him. <laughs> And like it is in jest, like it, there's there's no malice there. So I'm glad that he he takes it that way. He loves me, Lynn. Same thing. Like every time I play with her, it's just like I don't care about winning pots. I care about getting that needle at the exact right moment when everybody else at the table is just gonna go. That was cold. <laughs> <laughs> it was so cold. Yeah. Do you, you guys have any like stories of like cool things that have happened like this and like in games, like just like. Fun things that don't happen in normal games, really. More that just in a private life. No, I only play one too, so that doesn't. You've happen played. Yeah, we 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 hear some 2012 stories about tortoise. That's true. What happened in 2012? What 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 did the tortoise do? What did they get into? Tell us about a private game or something. He was I stuck just, in makeup. Yeah, you kidding me? <laughs> like, like I said, uh, some guy You're robbed either. the Bellagio and got me out of makeup. I don't know. Buried. <laughs> uh, he was stuck in makeup. Yeah. Man. Mr. Unlimited. 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 <laughs> his makeup was like your tab. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. I know what his makeup number looks like, and I know what my tab number looks like, and it's nothing alike. <laughs> I, was a lot, I was a lot richer back then. It's uh, nothing alike. So, funny enough, I actually don't know Freddie D. Well, I didn't. For maybe like last month when I was sitting in Citrus, my spot, hookah bar, and I'm just sitting there, and... This guy that owns the spot comes up next to me. He's like, you know, that's Freddie D, right? Because he knows I play poker. And I was like, actually, I had no idea. So Freddie just, you know, shakes my hand and starts talking to me. We introduce each other. And he's like, I I said, do you know Matt Berkey? He's like, I fucking love Matt Berkey. He's awesome. I just saw him yesterday at the Blasio. I walked up behind him and rubbed his head. (laughs) (laughs) I thought it was for good luck, and then I busted. Yeah. (laughs) Rough, rough, rough. No more busting. You gotta stop busting tournaments. It doesn't work. Freddie's been around. Like he's been playing a lot. Like uh, oh yeah, he, definitely. You know, I played. I played a five k with him. Uh, this was actually my first experience with him. It was probably like 2016, maybe. Uh, we were sat at WSOP five k together, and he four bets a hand. Uh, checks to him post flop. I don't remember the board texture, or whatever. He bets. The guy calls, and Freddie just mucks. Strong. Okay. <laughs> flop this is flop this is on the flop so you just see bets and gets called and then just this app. mucks yeah, just like, you must, actually you I, must have that it. happened funny enough i know why he did it did you guys happen to see anna's tweet the other day so anna anna anna, anna told me wrote a tweet that said basically oh that was yesterday have you ever seen 30 dollars in the pot play, while you're playing and you're like all right i'm just gonna bet flop you know win it and by river, you're all in with six high. <laughs> <laughs> I, I felt that. Yes. Uh, yes. I actually, yeah. Yeah. I, I really enjoy her humor. It's, it's very dry and uh, witty. And I definitely felt that tweet. Yeah, like, I think we all did, honestly. Yeah, I mean, nobody's paying attention. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stab and win. And yeah. then all of a sudden, we're four ways on the river. It's yeah. like, when I said, oh, I'm a media because Brian Chin and Guapo or Melissa they didn't feel. Uh, Melissa might have. Melissa right. likes uh, try to steal that thirty dollars in the middle. Yeah, you're right. By river, all in. Oh yeah. Six high. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's at the. I mean, it's like, well, I'm not gonna just shut down. I'm not gonna give up. No, Mid- we're mid-line, line. We're just gonna let's. There's not let's go for more it. money in the pot to, to to fight for. Yeah, you know? started a story. You know, yeah. they didn't seem very interested. If you interested. bet like twenty x pot, what are they gonna do? <clears throat> yeah. Paul, 
maybe. It's probably. <laughs> I don't know. But you know, I'm support not. for the Only Friends podcast comes from True Classic. True Classic has the absolute best fitting t-shirts a man can buy. Finding the right t-shirt, it's incredibly frustrating. Most t-shirts are either way too tight in the middle or way too big and boxy. It's time to stop fucking around and go all in on True Classic. <laughs> that, that was wow, not part he, of the script. He really did get two ad reads in. <laughs> True <the> Classic <laughs> has already helped over two million men finally get in a better fit at an affordable price. Our listeners get the, act, uh, get the best deal that they offer for a limited time only with, with code ONLYFRIENDS. You can get 25% off at trueclassic.com. When you look good, you feel good. You gotta start That's a right. cameo, I think. True classic. I, I, bet, I bet people would pay for your cameos. Yeah, a Conrad cameo would be great. I'll write them. All right, sounds great. But you can submit them. You can be his first customer. No, it's true. true. It's true. There's no way they said some in that they script. Stop fucking that, around. That, <laughs> they yeah. say that. That was not part of the script. Like, like true classics writing an email right yeah. now. Like, they're like, stop There's, fucking around. Like, stop fucking around. Like, yeah. that's like part There's of a little it. bit of an ad lib. That's fine. I don't know what's going on, man. Like, what's going on, like, here, like, man? We, got, we might have to ask permission if we're allowed to change these words a little bit. Uh, listen, stop they don't fucking want, around. They don't want you to be good though. The thing is, they don't want you to be fucking around in that T-shirt when you can fuck around yeah. that t-shirt right. you know it's the true collar's worn out yeah, worn out ass collar you can just go to trueclassic.com and type friend, only, code only Fresh friends for 25 percent off actually that collar is, is shut much the fuck better up than right. it is definitely don't better. talk to me anymore. it's slightly better than than your normal t-shirt and on that note we are out of here we will be back on monday i don't know what the fuck we're doing this weekend we're gonna try to figure it out i'm Anybody? gonna try to get out of this down swing chin's down like a buy and a half probably he's fucking losing his mind you should he, start the tap tap thread again Wow. I can't. Yeah. I'm too stuck. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's why you should start it. He's so annoyed. That's why you should start it. It could be people tap tapping you. Man, I gotta go. You gotta go. Gotta Chin's gotta out. go. He's gotta get a seat at the 10 20 40. For yeah. I play two five. I'm I know. Out. I know Chin's living right whenever he misses a 50 100 game because he's drunk. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow, life must be good. Life must be good, Chin. Uh, shut up. He said, I'm <laughs> drunk. I'm not gonna play tonight. All right, you know what? On that note, we are out of here. Please like, subscribe, join. Show us some love in the comments. We'll be back on Monday. Holla. Peace.